All right, recording has begun. So if you're watching this later on on VOD or YouTube specifically, this should be the first series ever that we actually have edited for YouTube. But I want to let you know, if you are watching this on YouTube, the full VODs are going to be available also. So if you're someone that doesn't like the edited stuff or you watch the edited stuff and you're like, man, I wish I had seen all of this, I'm going to have the full VODs up as well. So if you do watch this on YouTube later, make sure you check the description and the pinned comment because it will tell you where to watch the full VOD. It will be available on YouTube. I haven't solidified whether I'm going to do that on a second channel yet or if I'm going to have it unlisted or what. And I'm probably going to experiment quite a bit. So uh, yeah, if you are watching this RimWorld run later on on YouTube, make sure if you want to watch the whole unedited thing that you check in the description and the comment. All right, this is our second biotech run, our second RimWorld run of biotech. Uh, so the new DLC, um, if you've been under a rock and you don't know that there's a new DLC, Biotech is that new DLC. And uh, our, our first playthrough was just an experimental playthrough where we tested out all kinds of stuff just a little bit. We did a lot of Mechanitor stuff, quite a bit of, you know, stuff with the children, stuff with vampires, stuff with genes. Now this one is going to be much more themed. We're going to see a, like a, about how you can theme a run with genes primarily and ideology and the other expansions without even having mods to theme them. So we are going to do a Dwarven run, a Dwarven run, and I'm also going to make myself play quite a bit differently. So a lot of the things in this, and I know I'm going to get it, I'm going to get some people coming in, they're like, wait a minute, why aren't you using the barracks as much? Is the barracks nerfed? And we might use the barracks, I'm not saying we won't, but I know I'm going to get all that kind of stuff. Why aren't you using the singularity? So we're going to do a lot of weird stuff, and I'm going to use a lot of different kill setups that I usually don't use that are kind of weird. We're going to use a lot of miniguns, so pre predominantly miniguns, shotguns, and grenades. We're gonna be dwarves, a dwarf, minigun, shotgun, and grenades. All right, let's get started. Why are you not using the singularity? Uh, <laughs> Killbox doesn't work anymore. <laughs> All right, let's go. New colonies, so we have a custom scenario. We are the dwarves, so what does this mean? So I am gonna put this to download as well. Uh, it'll be on my website, so if you ever wanna down, download any of this stuff, once it's up, it's on adamverseverything.com slash downloads, so you can play with the same ideology, the same genes, the same scenario, whatever. So this is a tribal scenario, but the, uh, the difference here is that instead of the normal melee weapons, we're starting with axes. Instead of the bows, we're starting with one shotgun. And we're also starting with a little bit of beer and we're starting with beer researched, beer researched. So the dwarves will have beer researched, stone cutting researched. Uh, the starting dwarves are gonna be tough. And we get one war hammer, one war hammer for the king, the Lord of Dwarves. Also, because Randy has been so sleepy lately, we're gonna make sure we get into combat. We are going to play against Cassandra. And you might be saying to yourself, but Adam, isn't Randy the hardest storyteller? I'm glad you asked. The answer is no, not really. I have a guide out for it, but what I like to say is that Cassandra kills you on purpose and Randy kills you by accident. So Randy can go to sleep. He literally doesn't have a trigger that makes him attack. Cassandra does. We're going to get attacked a lot. We are going to probably lose some people and lose some runs. Uh, this should be this should be pretty hectic pretty quickly. And Phoebe kills you of boredom, that's right, <laughs> or overconfidence. We are going to play on uh, no pause as always and commitment mode. So we're going to select losing is fun, which is the baseline hardest difficulty. You see it starts at 220%. We're going to bump it up to 500%. That is the hardest difficulty without mods. Everything else is going to be baseline. Um, so yeah, all, all that's going to be the same. We're just going to leave everything else as default in 500% scaling. All right. Uh, huh. No has speed. No, I don't usually use that. Child Raiders. Uh, I'll just leave it as default. We did Child Raiders last time, so. But there are going to be a lot of children in this game, so. Put aging 400% of don'ts. Nah. That's an that's an excellent seed name. Beards and belts. Excellent. Erebor. Uh, we're going to do max population. We're going to start off with no no pollution, but we are going to pollute. For rock and stone, that's right. That's right. See, we're high on all the content. Diggy, diggy hole. Beards and belts. I've, I've been wanting to play some more uh, Total War Warhammer, so. Rock and stone. All right. It doesn't matter too much. Dwarf Fortress is better. Speaking of, Dwarf Fortress is going to be coming out December 6th after like 17 years of development. So we are going to do a mountain map, so I am going to use a little bit bigger size map than I usually do. So I usually use 275, that's my most common, but I want a bigger mountain to give us some room because I am planning to 
do things a little differently, a little differently. Thank you, Raktar. If I missed anyone, my apologies. We're just getting started with this, so um, I'll catch them in chat once things settle down a little bit. Uh, all right, so we're going to pick a mountain map. Mountain map. Um, and we want to do a bit of trading. Bedrooms. I'm going to play a lot differently. Yeah, we're going to play a lot differently. I'm going to get a lot of questions about it, so... Yeah, this is going to be a weird RimWorld playthrough, and uh, just to give you a preview, I'm not even using join join events. Literally no join events. Are we doing high wealth? Eventually, eventually. All right. Um, this one's pretty close to a lot of empire trading. Mountainous sandstone. I like sandstone. Sandstone, limestone is whatever. We'll have a winter, so we'll get to see doors in the snow. Coastal. All right. I don't want to spend a lot of time picking a map, so we're just going to go with this. And if we lose, we lose. We're, we're going to even try not to do any sacrifices. Yeah, no sacrifices. Join events are turned on, but I don't have any join rituals, I should say. All right. All right. This should be fun. I, I mean, it, oh, hang on. Any caves? No caves. All right. We're good. We're good. What's the starting scenario? It's a custom tribal scenario. Custom tribal. All right. Uh, create. We're also not going fluid. I'll show you the ideology. So here's the dwarf ideology. There was a lot of what we, we talked about this a lot in Discord last night, and there's a lot of different options we could do, and we will maybe try different ones, but this is the starting one that we are going to. Uh, <laughs> well, you know what? I do themed runs sometimes, right? This is a themed run. So this is the one we're going to start with, and uh, I'll go over it really quickly. I don't want to go into too much detail, but. So we are the dwarves. We have the bronze fist of our kind. Uh, I have the Warhammer Dwarven lore here. I have Grungni and Valea, and you might be saying, Adam. Where's Grimnir? Where's Grimnir, Adam? Well, when I when I actually did this, it just defaulted as two, so I just left it, even though I could have added Grimnir. And I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, well, Adam, I guess that's fine, but but you're going in the book. That's fine. I'll go in the book. Some people watching this are gonna be like, what the crap is he talking about? Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's, it's dwarf stuff. You wouldn't get it. Anyway, that's a grudging. Uh, so we are collectivists because we are, uh, you know, a group of dwarves. So think of high life as drunk life. This is the beer life. We are addicted to beer. We will literally die if we don't have beer. It is going to be set up to where we die if we don't have beer. We have Tunnler, of course, which makes sense. And then we have Dwarven Primacy. So you might notice that we don't have Supremacy. We don't have Supremacy. We don't have Pain as Virtue. We are going to think corpses are ugly. Ooh, not only are we not cannibals, we also think corpses are ugly. Ooh, oof, oof. All right, so uh, drugs are essential. All this is pretty standard. I'm, I'm not really going to go through it, but as you can see, we are not going to be able to harvest organs, and we're not going to be able to eat people, <laughs> and uh, corpses are ugly. It's going to be uh, it's gonna be a rough one. So we are quite a, quite bigoted, you know? We're, we're going to be mostly honorable dwarves. We'll call it that. Mostly honor honorable dwarves. All right, we got our leader, our moral guide, our mining specialist. So this is, uh, why is this a different name? This was different before. I think it's because I changed one of them. So high king, high queen, it's good. Moral guide is um, dwarven priest, that'll work. Or maybe the runesmith. Nah, dwarven priest is fine. Uh, the mining specialist is the deep miner, and the man. Uh, we'll do this runesmith for the builder. So you might also notice that no shooting specialist, right? I almost always play the shooting specialist, which has opened us up to do another specialist, which I'm gonna do with mining. Names don't save when you have save an ideology. That's weird. They they did on my uh, my other one, so that's weird. Uh, all right, so here's another interesting one. I usually always do, I guess I'll just leave these as the new names. I didn't save them, but yeah, it's weird. It used to save them because I have my, uh, my min maxer run has been, has had it saved forever, but I think it might've changed when I changed um, from Pain is Virtue to Collectivist, but anyway. Uh, so we, we'll use the, these. All right, so I almost always have six joint events. I have zero. We're going to have a funeral because we are not going to be able to chop people up. So we're going to have a funeral. Uh, we are going to have insect jelly from our drums. So our drums are actually going to spawn insect jelly from the ground. And then our um, social events are going to get faction rep. Very different. I almost always use. Um, and then check this out. Noble ranged heavy weapons. We are going to use predominantly... 
shotguns, grenades, explosives, and miniguns. <laughs> so, can't wait for Dwarf Fortress on the 6th. Yeah, it should be really interesting. Should be really interesting. Uh, free love. Oh, I should probably do that, shouldn't I? Because we're gonna. So that's another thing. We're gonna. We're going to have lots of babies. That's how we're going to, um, increase everything. So. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Physical love. We'll go with free. Should be fine. So physical intimacy is a natural part. What is free and approved? I forget that one. Loving after Okay, okay. Free and approved. Dwarves are going to be having just a big, giant Dwarven. I got to be careful. The algorithm will not push my video if I say the word. Someone else will have to say it. A giant Dwarven underground. Anyway. Anyway. Hey, I saw it. There we go. <laughs> I can't say it. The YouTube algorithms will kill me. All right, let's look at sandwich, uh, sandwich. Let's look at our genes. So this is a new part of biotech. So in biotech, you have all these new races and you can make your own a Dwarven sleepover. You can make your own. So last night on the Discord, we went through this and we made a <laughs> sleepover. We made several Dwarf ones. So, Dorgy. Uh, we're gonna try this one first and we might edit them more and more. We'll see, we'll see. We might edit them more. But this is what we're gonna start with, okay? So the dwarves are going to be a little bit hungrier. They are going to be sturdier. So they're going to heal a little bit faster. Not the like crazy fast one, right? But we have some downsides. Everyone's going to be a slow poke. Ouch. Slow poke is one of those traits that I usually don't like to take. Everyone's going to be a slow poke. All dwarves will be slow. It's because of the little legs, the little legs. Psychically deaf, we will not be able. No one will be able to use psychasting. casting. So that means even though we're tribal start, the anima tree does nothing for us. We're also not going to be able to use the side casting if we get go through the, the royalty ranks. This one also is going to really suck. We have UV sensitivity. So we spend so much time underground that if we come out into the sun, the sun hurts us. Yeah, we're not going to have berserk pulse. It's going to be, yeah, that's elf stuff. Ew, ew, knife ears. Ugh, get them out of here. Uh, aside from Elrond, Elrond's a good friend of ours, but everyone else, ew. Uh, everything else, um, you know, they're they're good at uh, crafting and building. And here's a big one. They're built for sprinting. Alcohol dependency. If we do not have alcohol, we will die. Literally die. <laughs> so in the beginning of the game, we're going to have to start working towards getting alcohol uh, really soon. And uh, and yeah. So very sturdy dwarfs, very good at uh, combat overall, especially melee combat. Good at breeding, but slow, deaf, not super smart, and the sun hurts them. So do the kids have to have alcohol? Oh, and we have beer, unisex beards, so nice. They're also, they're really bad at animals. They don't really like keeping animals underground for good reasons. So are you a dwarf? All right, we're gonna go ahead and switch all these to dwarves. Now, we're gonna be on these five colonists for a very long time. So our first five colonists are gonna be very sturdy, very sturdy dwarves. And uh, look at that, oh man, oh man. Uh, but anyway, if you get in, if you are good at breeding, that's right. If you're one of the first five in, um, congratulations, you're gonna be in the colony hopefully a long time because the next dwarves that we get are most likely not going to happen until we have children. So it's going to be rough, especially against Cassandra, especially against Cassandra. And the first five names are going to get a lot of loving. So, all right, uh, Xenogen. So these are these are inheritable. So I'll, I'll go to that really quick. So if you look at our dwarf thing, I did click genes are heritable. Genes are heritable. So the babies will get the dwarven genes. So, all right. Um, so there's a few things here because we, oh my God, so many people entered in the queue. Um, there's a few things here that we want early on for these, and aside from skills, I don't want any social issues. I've never seen so many in their queue at once ever. Wow, I might have a hard time picking, I might have a hard time pulling names because the API may be broken. Holy crap, that's like hundreds of entries. Jesus Christ. All right, anyway, so uh, let's go ahead here. Body monitor, I don't want to deal with. 
Uh, pyro. Oh no, I rolled past industrious. Ouch, ouch. Okay, what do we have here? We have undergrounder construction and plants. That looks good. Let's roll another here. Very neurotic. Ooh. Very neurotic crafter. I think I'm going to keep that one. I might keep that one. Everyone wants to be a dwarf. That's right. Might keep that one. Uh, let's look. For, were they? Which one was good at cooking? Or one of them down there? Okay. Abrasive. I don't want abrasive. Uh, I might keep that one. All right. Let's roll this for a cook. So I might skip some really good dwarfs here, but we're just looking for a cook. I'm not using random plus this time because it breaks. Uh, greedy. It breaks the xenotype stuff. Come on, cooking. Can't a dwarf cook? Incapable of violence. What kind of dwarf is incapable of violence? I have never seen so many people join the queue. Oh my lord. That's really nuts. Cooking. Cooking, please. All right, there we go. So we got a cook. Uh, so we got a builder, a crafter, a cook. Um, let's look for plants and medical. And we should be good to go. Okay. Volatile, no thanks. No thanks. Misandrist. I don't want any social issues early because I need these doors to be breeding like crazy. Chemical interest doesn't matter too much. Chemical interest. I might go with that one. I go with that one. Don't you prepare more carefully? Yeah, a lot of those are broken specifically with custom uh, xenotypes at the moment, so. Why doesn't it show the genetic trait all the time? It doesn't show it, I think, if they have... I don't know why it's not showing that one, actually. That's a good question. Yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure. I think I'll keep that one. All right, let's get a good doctor, and then we are good to go. Ooh, Sanguine Iron Willed. Hang on, that might be our crafter. Look out, Jogger is disabled because of slow, slow poke. We caravan this run? Probably, but it's going to be a longer caravan, yeah. Probably a longer caravan. Sanguine Iron Willed. I might just have to take that one. Holy crap. That could be our... We have no medical, though. I would have to re-roll someone into medical. Ah, screw it. Let's re-roll. Eh, it doesn't show. It has a genetic trait. All right. All right. Can we have a Dwarven medicine person? See how Jogger is grayed out because of Slowpoke? Ouch. Ouch. Six medical. Uh, all right. Slowpoke, cycling death. Ouch. All right. All right. For better or worse, we're going to go with these, and we might... Hang on. Let me look at genders. We got one male, one female, two female, three female... Two, three, or three female, two male. That seems pretty good for child rearing, child making. Uh, all right, let's pour, pull some names. Hopefully the queue is going to work. The API just got friggin' flooded. So uh, if it doesn't work, I'll just pull them manually and then we'll go. And we'll go. I already have those, Finn. Yeah. Nuclear Rhino. I already have those, Finn. Okay. Next. Hopefully I have immune livers. <laughs> oh, come on, API. We have APR on armor piercing. Uh I have the gene that female unisex beards, yeah, so I don't I don't know why some females don't have it, but they can they can go to a styling station to get it if it if need be. Natural babies, yeah, no vat grown for this one. Uh, yeah, that's what I was... Yeah, it's broken. All right, I'm gonna have to pick it manually. That's unfortunate. All right. Rimworld Q. Soul Sapper. Big door. <laughs> Sloth Demon. And 
Penurial Claw. The Claw. All right, let me mark these out of the queue here. There we go. All right, there's our doors. There's our starting doors. So, yeah, I do have unisex beards in the Xenotype. So, I, I, I guess it doesn't mean that they all have them. They just can or something. But. All right. All right. Raktar, Game, Old Man Lobus, Krolus, Hash Monkey, Kruger, Torment, Jet, Too Fat Crew, Tier 3. Thank you guys for the resub. Thank you, Huey. Thassa, thank you as well. I'm going to turn, I'm going to unmute those in just a second as well. All right. Not all are Slowpoke either. I don't know why it does that. I Apparently the gene still works. Someone was talking about how it, it doesn't show it always, but it still works. I mean, I can just re-roll this person into a different construction person and have it show it. Let's just do that just in case. I don't want it to bug, so. Uh, remember Nuclear Rhino, but let's go ahead and randomize until we get uh, another construction person. Recluse, we don't want Recluse. All right. All right, uh, do we have anyone that has arts? It'd be nice to have construction and art on them, actually. Construction and art. <laughs> Dwarven art. All right, we're looking at art now. Uh, do miss random plus, though. Do miss random plus. Give me some arts. Look at that. Burning passion. Tortured artist. Tortured artist is good, though. Um, Burning passion one in arts. Might give up soon. We'll see. Depressive. No thanks. No thanks. So what do we need to do when we first get in? Well, I mean, I guess I got to survey the map and see exactly how the map is. Because it could be... There's no caves, at least. We know that much. Like, this one doesn't have either of them. I don't know why it doesn't show them for everyone. That is weird. That is weird. Do you think one guy and four women will give us a better chance at lots of babies? It's a custom scenario, yeah. Scenario setting, yeah. Look at this. That's an unreal. That's unreal. Look at <laughs> what is the They're gonna be really unhappy outside. Holy crap. They're gonna be really unhappy. They're gonna have the UV thing and undergrounder. That's what I was thinking too. I kinda wanted a second male, but I definitely want to keep this one. Is there any other that we would want to? I could reroll Crafter to be a male. It's free and approved, though. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. Slowpoke seems a deal breaker. Well, unfortunately, they had no doors for us. No doors for us. I don't know what her value is. 1400 as a starting pawn. Well. I gotcha. I think it'll be okay. Let's go with it. All right, well, let's get started. We're on the workshop. No, this is biotech. Yeah, this is not mod. No mods doing this. This is biotech. They have several relationships. It's fine. They have an ex-husband and a sister. It's, it's whatever. All right, let's go. Let's go. The run begins. Let's see how our doors do. Uh, again, we're playing against Cassandra on 500% in this RimWorld biotech run. And... Uh, yeah, so we need to be... And tribal start with Cassandra can be really, really brutal. All right, here we go. Goat! They were the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Goat. That's almost one whole calendar year. One entire at 11 months. That's right. Thank you. All right, so we are here. We are the dwarves. Uh, let's go ahead and unforbid all of our starting stuff here. And we're going to turn off, uh, we're going to turn repair, turn off home zone. And let's take a look at the map. Mountains in the north. We got, we got a nice little pocket there with fertile soil. One there. We got some coastline. We got some uh, geothermals over here. Two geotherm, three geothermals right there. All right, we're going to, we're going to start over here. All right, let's grab our stuff here. Um, do our brawler will have him take the war hammer and uh, who's good at shooting okay there we go everyone else grab your axe 
Look at all that beer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a lot more. Oh, right. They start with beer as well. So, okay. Let's go ahead and just throw a zone up here. So they go ahead and start moving that stuff over. Um, and a dumping zone. Same reason. And they are tunnelers. So they're going to want... Um, they're going to want mushrooms really quickly. But immediately, actually. We're going to just throw down some rich soil rice just to get them started. They're not going to be happy about it, but they're going to have to deal with it. So... Uh, and let's start chopping. So we will go into the mountain pretty soon, but to start with, uh, we're gonna set up in this little, this little section. So we'll set some this to go. We will start with a little, uh, let's see. We're not gonna be out here long enough to ge get to geothermal, so. Probably bigger than we want to really do, but that's all right. Uh, one, two. Okay, that's fine. And then we'll build in here to start with. Um, seems all right. I guess I guess we'll just put it over here. Uh, we'll do a thirteen just to start, like we usually do, and then we'll go from there. All right. So let's turn off the fertility overlay and we'll just start throwing down some wood structure in here. Those. Okay. Welcome back. We'll put the stop pile inside here. Is greatly appreciated. Delete it from there. There's a lot of things that we need to get set up early, but uh, let's go ahead and get this done here. Uh, let's go into work and make sure our planter is set to primarily planting. Okay. Oh, I didn't look at social. We're gonna we're gonna be raising a bunch of children. We're not good at social, so whoopsie. Whoops, whoops, whoops. All uh, right. Lots of good crafting, though, as we expected. We clean up there, haul up there. Um, let's see. Crafting will set as a four on everyone. Siphon this person. Okay. That should be all right. Research is a four. Research can be really slow too, especially because I didn't go for very fast research, and we have tribal start. So, it's going Bob. Think we're the thirteen months. Sure, we have beards. True dwarves. Uh, all right, let me show you. Wait, there it is. Unisex beard. So, I literally have it. All right. So the the women will be able to change their facial hair at the at the station, so. Um, I already have it set, so they are real dwarfs. All right, are you saying Drissa isn't a real dwarf? Uh, let's see, we'll have them enter over there. What is it overridden by, though? Hang on. Overridden by Xenogerm, only bushy beards. Ah, I see, that's interesting. Carries this gene always have thick facial hair, even women. Why is that overridden by males carry the bushy beard gene? That's weird. Hmm. Might have to do an edit there. That seems like um, unintentional. Like, why would that be a thing? No idea. Oh, well. That is pretty silly. Uh, if we die or when we die or whatever, we, we'll redo it, so... Right, it should be complimentary, I think so too, because the other one only affects males, so why would the unisex, I don't know, I don't know, that's weird. Anyway, gonna have to make a man called Jeans. Uh, try typing it, Blue, try typing it. Let's see, let's see what happens. All right, structure, let's go ahead and get our doors down here. Doors for the dwarves. No, it's, I was, I was worried about it. Man. I was hoping it was working. I set something up for it to work, so I'm glad you're testing it. I'll get that uh, going as well. 
Are the only ones that are bushy? Maybe Lady Dwarf beards are just more smooth, maybe? Maybe. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just throw down some sleeping spots in here. We need five of those to start out with. And then we are going Welcome to expand back. the home zone Your so that we clean and repair this. Is greatly appreciated. And here too. All right. Uh, and then we'll need to mine into the mountain soon and figure out kind of what we're dealing with in the mountain and get our mushrooms planted and all that kind of stuff. So all that kind of stuff. Oh, you don't. Do you want me to go full racetrack again? I'll go full racetrack. Don't make me do Our it. Fellowship expands. Uh, Sesh, thank you for the subscription. Sesh, the and thank you, Knight Fenris, for the resub. Seven months. Thank you. Yeah, this geothermal setup is really nice. This would be a good map, even not going into the mountain. I'll turn the stream around. All right. All right. So let's also go ahead and get our uh, table down. Just a basic table here. Uh, I want to move that a little bit. Let's get the basic table, and we don't have complex furniture, so stools it is. Recreation, we'll go ahead and throw down a uh, hoopstone. Welcome back. You know, er. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Uh, and we'll go ahead and do our torches. Okay, that should be good enough. All right, let's get some things set up here. So one of the important things that we're going to want to get our drug policy. So let's go ahead and go into manage drug policy and we're gonna do a new policy and we're gonna say dwarf, it's a dwarf policy. Uh, keep two beer in your inventory, take it for addiction and then take it on schedule every day, no matter what. There we go. There we go. Enjoy your beer, dwarves. I'll start that again. Uh, literally, I've turned off insects one time in 4,000 hours over a year ago. So, no. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and have them start chopping the wood in that area. Let's go ahead and sell and welcome in. Mandatory breakfast beer. That's right. All right. We're going to get our little barracks set up initially and then... Uh, We'll start, we'll get this set up and then we'll start working to get in the mountain. How to plan on getting more beer? That's one of the things we have to get too quickly. You're just thinking you're glad no one asked that question. Yeah. Remember, you screw one goat. Fluid ideology, no. Exclamation memes. Exclamation memes. Uh, you can grow anything and just about anything in fungal gravel. Yeah, it's very slow, but you can do it. All right, so we're going to go into quests. We're going to go uh, into reward preferences. This is not a mod. We're going to turn these off so we get monetary reward options. We're also going to go into health, click defaults. I'm going to go ahead and set everything to doctor care, but no medicine. The reason I like doing that is so that if we get like a down prisoner or something like that, or down enemy, whatever, that we can tend to them uh, quickly or bring them back and, and they'll tend to them without using any of our medicine for bruises and little cuts and things like that. And if they need something more, then I'll, I'll do it manually, so... We'll get that set. All right, while they are sleeping, let's uh, let's take a look here. So we're gonna do a pile there. We're gonna let some enemies come in there. We'll do a long trap tunnel and we will get mined into the mountain. So, beer kind of drug? Yes, yeah, it is. Kind of, well, it's, it's hard to show you in ours because we have the dependency which overwrites stuff, so. But uh, yeah, it, it causes social and stat problems, yep. Beer is a drug. The genes thing is not working yet. I thought I had it all set up to work, but uh, I'll, I'll do it at the when we split this recording, so. Travelers wish for aid. They want 18 beer? I think friggin' not. I think not. Think these dwarves are gonna give you any beer? Get out of here. We'll just leave them at the default schedule for now and let's go ahead and set up some zones while they're sleeping as well just to have you know be doing stuff because we are playing on no pause so uh we're gonna switch this to inside this is gonna be walls wassels it's gonna be our work zone and i doubt we're gonna have 
there's notable animals in this run, especially with the genes that we picked and we're just terrible at, at animals. So, all right, we'll go ahead and set this inside here. And walls, we'll go ahead and set. Bugged out on me there. Walls, we'll set here. We're gonna let them do that mountain work while we're uh, pinned in here ever. Okay, and we'll set the work zone to be relatively generous, but I don't want them going super mega ultra far away. Super mega ultra far. Okay, that'll do. And we'll put them on work. All right, nose paws. Do that default medicine setting, looked away at the wrong time. So you click on your pawn, click on health, and there's a defaults button there. Came from YouTube? That's awesome, yeah. Thank you for coming over here. Thank you for watching on YouTube. Do I have a zones video? I do, yep. Yeah. Uh, I do have a, a zones guide. It might actually be a command for that, exclamation zone. Uh, let's see if the mountain's pretty solid. So I'm going to grab... So there's a trick you can do that I've been doing for many, many years where you grab someone with a melee weapon, you draft them, you click for them to attack, and you hover it over the mountain. And if... Oh, there's a hole right there. Uh, zones with an S, I believe. And you see that that X out spot? That means that's hollow. That means that's open. So this is all solid because we can attack it. But this is actually hollow. Oh, no. That's actually a pretty big hollow spot. Right where I decided to build. The rest of the mountain is all pretty good. <laughs> nice. Why do I set it to no meds? I, I just went over that, but I know people are always coming in at different times. So the reason I do it is so that we don't want, we don't waste medicine on crap like bruises and little cuts. Pretty much, pretty much. All right, so we're gonna get a campfire going here. And... Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty We're gonna need to get from a barrels going pretty, pretty quickly. All right. Uh, I don't think we have any other rich soil. We will get to mushrooms pretty soon. I might just go ahead and put an area for mushrooms uh, just roofed somewhere. So uh, we can do that. We can do it just like right here. All right, we'll do that. We'll do that. Like there's no roof? Maybe. All we know is it's open. All we know is it's open. Destruction on Rhino. Oh, I see. I see what's going on there. Okay, we're going to go grab the better plant cutter and have them cut down that. Please. Shouldn't doors be weak to fire? No, not at all. Dwarves who work around the forge all the time. Who were made... Carved out of the stone by the gods themselves, weak to fire? No. Dwarf isn't afraid of fire. All right, let's get that done. Need beer every five days. Uh, yeah, we could stretch the beer. So that is the technical side of it. Um, oh, crap. I need to get this done. Okay, let's get that. Um work and let's go ahead where was that opening it was right around here let's just go ahead and mine to where that opening was it's right around there okay let's see what that opening is there we go yeah i should probably stretch the starter build beer later on we want to do one per day especially because we are um uh high life and whatnot but yeah we should probably stretch it until we actually have our own coming in either way so Let's go ahead and select our dwarf policy, and uh, we'll, we'll do every four. Uh, the Demigod song? I don't know what song that is. <laughs> they should be afraid of water. <laughs> That's right, stone beats water. I mean, water beats stone. <laughs> Star Street movie, what is that from? Maybe I will remember it. Maybe I will remember. Uh, we got to get some steel mined as well. We have some steel close by. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I dove right in. 
There's some steel down there. It's not super mega close, but. Okay, let's make sure that is in the work zone it is. And mining. There we go. Go to work. Go to work, Doris. Does the defense counteract? Yes, at this stage it does. Ah, ah, that one. Well, you know what's funny? It was my daughter and I were just talking about Moana right before she went to school this morning. <laughs> I was, I had dwarves on the mind. We're talking about dwarves, so I was like, specifically. Where's your granny quote? You're going to have to wait. I can't just completely stop the stream to do them every time. Um, I will get to it, and it doesn't alert me. So you'll have to wait until we have some downtime for me to do it, and then I'll ask you to do the quote. All right. Uh, so we really need to get just the starter house done, and then we got to get that tunnel. I get that tunnel. It's going to be really important. And we're going to need pretty much all the wood in here. Okay. And when that's uh, set up, we'll do the mushrooms. Should you go for flakes? I... Uh, Psychite T will be the easiest to go for, so I I would say go to, for Psychite T first because it's just a, it's very easy. It only requires two cooking. It's only a cooking thing, and it only requires the Psychite. So I would say start with T at least. Rock and stone. That's right. That's right. Area reveal. Oh, guys, that's not what I wanted to see at all. It's not what I want to see at all. It's gonna be on YouTube. No idea. This will be the first series that's edited, so it might be a little bit... The other the other series isn't even done on YouTube yet. That's not what I wanted to see at all. Alright, well. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Well, we know the rest of it's pretty good. It's a courtyard, yeah. So... We know the rest of it will be pretty good. But, uh, yeah, I, I did not want to see that, so. That's what happens when you just pick a random mount, uh, mountain map and just go for it, I suppose, so. All right. Uh, so goes, fellowship expands. Not a bad place for a wind turbine the sub. in the entrance tunnel to our mountain base. I think that'll get destroyed. <laughs> you can roof it and pretend it's always nice. Well, the downside to that is that drop pod raids can happen there. Wow, well, breakdown already. That sucks. What's so scary about a hole? It can be drop pod raided. That's where a drop pod raid will, will fall, and we wanted to make it as a, as a tunnel. Place mortar and scanners? No. <laughs> I don't want to mortars and scanners in our hallway into our base. But but anyway, uh, it's fine. We'll just start from here. That's one reason why I did may, uh, go for a bigger map. So this whole sap to break down is really unfortunate. Um, We got to get in the mountain very quickly because we're going to have so many hits from um, from our genes. We have a lot of genes that are really hurting us right now. So uh, we'll get this tunnel done and uh, then go from there. Take the side. Then breachers will just open it up. So what's the best temperature? To see? The only way to keep the bugs from not spawning is is either keep the temperature below seven negative 17 Celsius or to literally cover every spot with something but we're, we're just gonna we're just gonna fight the bugs all right so let's think about this i eventually want this to be like 11 wide so this isn't a huge deal in the long in the long run so it does change like the starting setup a little bit unfortunately but uh this should be all right should be okay all right should be all right. This UV stuff is going to be annoying. It's going wider. Pro come in. Toe and gerbil. Gerbil, thank you for 17 months. Toe, thank you for the Switch Prime. Diving, 11 months. Thank you, Diving. Also very much appreciated. Okay. Uh, I probably should have went with more construction people like I usually do, but that's all right. That's all right. Okay, Rhino, get this done, please. And to start with, we're just going to go in here and we're going to do cook simple meal times one. Do until we have X. I'm going to put it relatively low. I'm going to put it at 15 and 10. And we're going to put this as meat and animal product only. But we got to remember to turn off human meat because we're not cannibals this time. And we are going to drop that on the floor. We're going to copy this and paste it. 
And then we will add in... Uh, we'll add in the vegetarian to that. Okay. And then make pemmican. Excuse me. Do forever. Uh, I think it already had human meat turned off by default. I just need to turn on insect meat. Drop on the floor. So we also want to go ahead and put a stockpile zone around this for dropping the meals. So we'll set this to important. Set that for our simple meals. And that should be good to start with. Um, and let's go ahead and roof this area. So we're going to build a roof area around this. Show your jeans, please. There's the jeans. Feel free to pause it or take a screenshot. Show your jeans. Could eat the L's. L's. Uh, no. So there was the jeans. Of that person. All right. Zone. Growing zone. And we're going to go ahead and start some Nutrifungus here. And our dwarves actually eat more than a normal colonist. So we got to uh, make sure we get this going pretty soon. Pretty soon. Okay. All right. I would really like to get that made out of stone even initially, but I don't know that we're going to have a lot of time to do it. There's also not really a building super close. There's a little bit of slate there. Um, what else we got going on? Hey, there's the Mechanitor thing. Exo Strider. If we want to go Mechanitor route, which I don't think we're going to do this time. Only fans requests. So. We're going melee plus shotguns. We're going heavy weapons and melee. So shotguns, um, explosives, miniguns, and melee. Yeah. Uh, do ideology events still recruit baselines? Yep. And I doubt they're going to ever change it. I hope they do, but I would doubt it because they are very, they usually are pretty uh, against fellowship expands. having Praise the, the DLCs interact for some reason. So it's, uh, it's unfortunate, but that's the way it is. All right. So we are already out of our starting pemmican, which is kind of crazy. The man, the rich rice isn't even done. We're out of our starting pemmican. That's a lot different. It's a lot different. Well, that's gonna, that's gonna be rough. It's basically, it's almost like everyone is a gourmand. Alf, thank you for the bit. Blaze, thank you for the Twitch Prime. She plays. I went to the other one on YouTube. Yep, I won't spoil it for you. Spare pair of jeans. Uh, the map looks good. Yep, map looks good. We're playing on the long run, a mountain base. Caught at the start of the run, perfect timing. Yeah, thank you for coming in, Swordless. I appreciate it. Okay, let's get this done. Hungry dwarves, that's right. Hungry dwarves. Um, have them cut that. All right. Right now, you make that. So we're gonna go ahead and butcher creature do forever. And welcome back. Your steadfast we'll loyalty is greatly appreciated. And here's the thing we're gonna do. We're gonna go in and uh, let's see who is our cook again. I'll get used to the name soon. So we're going to grab our cook. We're going to go ahead and go unrestricted. Going to go into zone. Or excuse me, orders. And we're going to go ahead and click to allow all on the map. It's by right clicking. This is not a mod. You right click on allow and hit unforbid. And then we're going to grab our cook and we're going to prioritize butchering. So what he's going to do now is going to go out and scavenge things that we just, that we didn't know were there that... We can butcher. We can butcher. Roadkill. Um, <laughs> we've for the four months. I know I'm gonna butcher your name again and again, but I do appreciate you. Hey, cut that out. Cut that out. Okay, we're gonna go in manage food restrictions. We're gonna select lavish, and we're gonna turn off uh corpses. And raw at the moment. Okay. Man, I'm not used to this having uh, basically everyone be a Gormon. This is going to be rough. This is going to be real rough. <laughs> Cut 
those meals. Cook those meals. So for anyone that doesn't know, the genes basically make your people hungrier. Love the theme of the run. Yeah, I'm really, I'm excited for this one too. Should be interesting. We might lose a couple times as I learn uh, about the the genes and whatnot, but you know, eh, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Okay. We're gonna butcher some more. We're gonna need a huge mushroom farm. Yeah, absolutely. All right. And the rice is only halfway. That's that's really crazy. I'm used to with tribal. We run out of food right when the the rich rice, the first rich rice is coming in. So really nuts, really nuts. All right, so let me do the thing. You can cook on a fire. <laughs> yes. <laughs> are mushrooms actually good? Yeah, mushrooms are very efficient. And our people like them. They, they actually dislike. We're getting a mood hit for eating anything else right now other than meat. All right. So let's plan out some of this. All right. So we're going to have this three wide coming in and I'm going to play very differently, very differently. So uh, people are going to be like, what did they nerf X, Y, Z? No, they did not nerf X, Y, Z, but we're just playing differently for fun this time. It's a themed run. So we're just going to play differently for fun. What fun in my room world? I did have someone tell me on YouTube that you shouldn't play the game for fun. That's what's wrong with society. Don't listen to that guy. Have fun. Life is short. For fun? Getting ready for Dwarf Fortress. This is a coincidence, actually. It's a coincidence. Coincidence, believe it or not. Okay. Alright, want to do that five wide there. That looks good. That looks good. All right. And uh, we'll start off probably one of the hallways here. I'm going to do those five wide interior. Because I'm going to do a lot of grenade nonsense this time. Grenade nonsense. All right. All right. There we go. Start. Are you going to try Dwarf Fortress? Yeah. Yeah, I will. I will. Okay. Let's go ahead and set that to mine. One of the pro problems with Tumblr, if you want to call it a problem, is that we're going to have so many chunk coming out of this, but yeah, that's what it is. All the way to the end of the map, would raids be able to come from that side? Not if it's overhead mountain. Uh, raids cannot spawn from a tile where overhead mountain is. So no, you can, you can go all the way to the edge of the map as long as it is overhead mountain there. I haven't really tried out Tox grenades too much yet. Yeah, I might use some of this run. I might. We'll see. You're always running out of chunks making blocks. Don't have that problem very much as a tunneler. That's for sure. All right. I hate to do it, but we're going to actually buy his pemmican. Okay. How's health? Uh, it's not too great. Yeah, still waiting on my next special appointment. So, is it confirmed that Rainy's bugged? No, R Rainy's always been able to go to sleep for years and years at a time. Uh, but no one has mentioned or no one has seen any evidence in the code or anything that he's actually bugged. So, doesn't mean he's not, but doesn't seem like he is. He's just that's just Randy. That's just Randy. Okay, we'll throw some of these down the front yard for now. Okay. Where are these ch children? Actually, I couldn't feed children right now anyway. Can't just melt down or melt the chunks. That would be nice. Try dirt moles with telling ideology. Dig a dig holes so fast. <laughs> okay. All right, we got our mushrooms going. We're just going to help out. Uh, I'm going to put a stockpile back here. And we're going to throw the steel, glass steel. I doubt we're going to get any of this, but just in case, uranium. I put our stone blocks back there. Let's let that have a critical. And they'll get that moved out. Okay. Let them do their thing. I got to get this built, even if it's just out of wood. 
and then we can replace it. So let's go ahead and work on that. Put some more doors on here. Smurf's like, yes, doors, doors. But let's get that started first. And uh, remove roof area. Make sure we don't roof where that rice is. Okay. Mines after Randy to hit you with. It takes time. I don't know. Let's go in war sheep. Boots, welcome in. Eternal weight. Jim, you want to dig all. Oh, I read that. Yep. But yeah, you can actually, we did that in the Winston Wave runs quite a bit. You can actually dig all the way to the edge of mountain. If it's overhead mountain, stuff can't spawn from there, but stuff can leave from there, which can be a uh, important thing to note. Uh, we do have one person with a gun, actually. So we'll set them on hunting. Uh, actually, <laughs> here, here's, here's our hunting. Here's our hunting. All right, squirrel. Excellent. Perfect. Perfect. Finally caught a stream. That's awesome. Thank you for coming over here, Space Man. Thank you for watching over there. This should be our first Almost edited series going up expands. on YouTube, so I'm, I'm interested in Praise seeing how it does. But yeah, thank you. A little overkill, a little bit. Uh, Swordless Fish. Thank you for the Twitch Prime also. WD40. Expands. Thank you for the Twitch Praise Prime as well. Sub. That name. Just our beer research I did, yeah. Yeah. Which ending is my favorite? Probably just ship launch, honestly. A mad hair. All right. Anyone else around? Okay. Our modest Rhino, come on. Expands. There you go, Rhino. There you Praise go. the sub. There you go. Uh, let's see. Bed rest. I will decide who bed rests. You're fine. Our uh, modest fellowship yeah, expands. Did, Praise the did biotech add a new wing condition? Unfortunately, it did not. Okay, I actually do want to kill this lynx before it hunts anything. So let's go ahead and do that here. Fully healed. All right, they ate that food. We'll cook. Actually, I'm going to grab everyone to do this one. No, I did not. Yeah, I was actually thinking that too, yeah. That some of this leather, we'll just go ahead and make some drums and get some insect jelly going. Yeah, it'll help with the hunger and then uh, the extra, any excess that we have, we can actually trade off, which would be nice. Single bite could kill you because there was no self-tinned. I do remember that. I do remember that. Ooh, nice shot. Look at you. Look at you. So yeah, when we have enough for a drum, which we, uh, oh. Would you look at that? We have enough for a drum. How long has this run been going? A very little amount of time. Half hour or something. Drums in the Deep. I actually had one of them named Drums of the Deep, but it changed it. Yeah, Pump Shotgun is, is pretty good, yeah. It's pretty good. All right. All right, so we have those up for when we need them. Uh, that is done. We'll go ahead and put that there. Okay. And so that's more of this to chop. A lot of this sander will be attacking us soon. Loyalty is 31 beer is enough. I doubt it. I doubt it. But uh, we are growing hops, so. Uh, what is intentionally playing different? I'm not using the standard kill boxes that we use. I'll probably be making like bedrooms and things. Like just playing different, more thematic, just for fun. Element 80, they were the 16 months. Rocco, they were the one month. Thank you for subscribing, Rocco. I appreciate it. It's never enough. All right, let's get that built. Bedrooms? He's gone too far. This mood. What is this mood? 
with the max stuff should be awesome. I didn't say no kill box, just different. I have done a 5% no pause, no kill box run. It's up on YouTube if you want to check it out, but this is not it. So I'm to give you the Amazon Prime. That's awesome. Thank you, Pax. I appreciate it. Maybe we're using that here. If I start using corners, you might want to call, call for help. Yeah, I did no pause, no kill box, 500%. It's uh, it's up on YouTube. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see the next two nouns I see in chat. Am I going to use machines? Probably not. I did tons of those in the last run. How the first biotech run end? I won. Moist is not a noun. <laughs> Hammer beard. All right. Our settlement is Mount. Mount. Hammer beard. Excellent. Cracker. <laughs> I need two nouns. Moist. <laughs> I had to type it quick. I don't know why it does that with no pause, so. I'm not doing a full role play run, no. No, I'm not doing melee only right now. I already did one of those. Thank you, Ariana. Not yet, anyway. I'm not doing another one of those yet. Is P music again? So OP. Hammer doors in. Yeah. All right, let's get some of this jelly pulled up, hopefully. Bring the jelly forth. Hey, insect jelly. What's it doing over here? So far away. Twenty six. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sun. Defense plus try holly not work with a lot of animals. It depends on what their AI is doing. Animals that are hunting someone will go around it. Animals that aren't like manhunters will just they will go through it like normal. You can use jelly for baby food, yeah. We probably end up we'll needing to. We'll end up needing to probably. Is a full colony of incapable of violence possible on higher difficulty? Probably, yeah, especially now with biotech. Probably. Alright, let's see if we can get that out before Cassandra hits us. We're only on day five. She'll be hitting us pretty soon, actually. Traps, turrets, mechs, side casting. Yeah, you can probably do it. Can probably do it. Claw, come here for a second. Thank you, as you were. Do insects provide jelly if you tame them? They do not. I wish. I wish, but they don't. All right, we have rice in. Uh, people are going to be unhappy about eating rice, unfortunately. But. It is what it is for now. 
Uh, that's way larger than I want. Let's uh, let's hedge that a little bit with roses so they don't go away as fast. Okay. Struck compact machinery. Well, look at you. Look at you. All right. So we will get um, mushrooms started in here. That's probably where bugs are going to spawn. To start with, um, we can actually move in and start with a barracks and then go from there. So let's, uh, let's just go ahead and dig through here. Okay. We'll open that up. We'll start with the barracks, then we'll uh, we'll convert over time. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise have they removed the, the darkness being with biotech? They have not. I just used it in my biotech run, so no, they have not. Did I start with Tumblr? I did, yep. Give them actual bedrooms? Maybe, maybe. What's your motivation to play RimWorld without pausing specifically? I just like playing it more, but how it started in Not Queen is that a long time ago, like a long time ago, five or six years ago. There's our first raid. Oh, no. Uh, I'll come back to that. All right, this is just the starter Cassandra raid. She always sends one. Uh, they're going to prepare, so I, I can answer. Uh, so a long time ago, when I first started looking into possibly playing RimWorlds, I looked for some streams for it, and there was a particular stream that played with no pause at all. And I started watching it, and I found myself when I went and watched other streams when they weren't on, weren't online that were pausing. I did not enjoy it as much. They ruined other streams for me because I did not like sitting while someone clicked through every raider in an 80-man raid to see which one they wanted to shock lance to try to recruit. And then that's a smart way to play, but it wasn't very entertaining, you know. And so I was like, all right. So that that was one of them. And the second one is I just like it better that way. I just I just like the extra challenge of it. So I feel like. That's the kind I want to watch, and also I have fun playing it, so I mean, there's there's no reason for me to play otherwise. Like I did to you, that's right, it's working, it's working. It is, uh, oh, are you doing, starting fluid? Is that why? That might be why. Yeah, I like, I, I come from an RTS background too, so that might be part of it. Keep some momentum going, yeah, RimWorld can be a slow game even with pause at times. Having pause increases the amount of slow times for sure. Can I still pause with pressing escape? Kinda. It does this. You can't do anything. But like, I could do that to go up and use the bathroom if I wanted to. But I don't. I I leave it on pause when I go to the restroom, etc. Yeah, I, I just do it because I I like I like playing it better that way, and I, I don't know I like watching it better that way. Uh, hopefully, we can get just a little bit of shooting experience in. Where is he? There he is. Let's see here. Jealous, ugly. Probably won't worry about uh, imprisoning that one. That's, that's nice of you to say. Blaze it. I appreciate it. RTS commanded player. Can't handle slow games. Enjoy the chaos. Well, I said that too, that I come from an RTS background. Yeah. Still working on the first Battletech playthrough? That's Welcome awesome. Back. Bartman. Your <laughs> Thank you for watching that. I appreciate it. Is greatly appreciated. Uh, and C-Grip. <laughs> I called you Blaze it a minute ago. Thank you for the resub. Also appreciate it. All right. This means Cassandra is active. So this is Cassandra's first. This is how she works. Beginning of the game, she's always going to send you this single raider to let you know she has started. She has started. You can do exclamation run, Cookie. Oh, nice shot. Get another shot in. He made it through. <laughs> Pop. <laughs> ah, we're going to dump you in the ocean. Bonk. <laughs> and he's dead. There you go. You can have your rot sink out here. See ya. Bonk. <laughs> Excellent. Nice. Nice. All right. So Cassandra is is up. She's awake. She's awake. All right. How are we doing on the mining here? 
do an all right. A gleaming Take the injury, endowment. sure. He already got shot once with a shotgun, though. So, uh, oh, she ripped off his right leg. That's what happens. The shotgun actually damaged the arm, and then the warhammer ripped off a leg. Uh, no, we're not going to do vampires in this one, no. Doors don't want to be vampires. We did a lot of vampire stuff in the last one. What does this start? Uh, exclamation run. But uh, it was tri and, and it was a edited tribal scenario, though. Doors versus cowboys. We've answered the question. <laughs> Doing melee only run? No, I've already done one of those. It's not melee only. Hence the shotgun. Fartman! Think of the 1,500 bits. That's a lot of bits. A fartman? <laughs> Very much appreciated. Much love to the fart. Or something. Let's go in kitchen. There's a leg laying somewhere, yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Hops are growing. Hopefully we get our hop plant in before we, uh, before we succumb to death of, by no alcohol. Uh, strong in melee, but they hate doing it. That's right. That's right. Now you got the start. Yeah, it's just, just a scenario. It's just tribal scenario. Um, and then I have, like, you know, their genes and stuff set up with biotech. That's at the very beginning of the VOD. You can always go back to the beginning of the VOD. I'll also update the commands as I go, but I need to update the genes command. I really thought it was set up, but apparently not. All right, we're researching complex furniture and a social fight. Already, Sloth insulted Soul Sapper's mother's sense of duty. This is dangerous because we have extra melee damage. Uh, yeah, I announced the other day that I'm going to do a, a melee only run 2.0 at some point, which I really don't want to do, but I'm going to. I popular demand. How long do I plan on streaming today? I'll end up streaming about 10 hours today. Um, about, about seven hours now, and then I'll be back on later for like three or four hours. It'll be pretty much every day of November, I'll be streaming eight to 10 hours. Right after you accept your vampire, <laughs> a, a legless pigman. <laughs> legless blood bag pigman. How long on this? 36%. All right. Once those come in, I'm going to feel a lot better. How is our mood off the drums? How much longer? 3.9 days. I'm going to space those out to help us. Novembeard. <laughs> Did I like vampires or mechs more overall? I I liked mechs overall more, but I went into mechs more, I would say. The vampire thing was kind of cool, though. They were very strong. But, uh, yeah, overall, I spent more um, more time uh, doing the mech stuff. So I'll, I'm definitely planning on doing a, uh, a cult run at some point. I don't know when, but I do plan on doing that. Got lots of runs planned. Lots of runs planned. All right. We need the melee block space for bugs. So we'll do one of those about right here. And then another one about right here. Okay. Genes of the doors listed somewhere. No, I thought the command was working, but it, it didn't. So I'll set those up when we split the recording later. Sorry, having dark times, Davis, but uh, glad the glad the stream and videos can at least distract for a little while. I hope so. But towards there, the mind faster. Yeah, they will. Yeah, I'll increase their mood too. But uh, we found steel. I gotta really get food going. In fact, I should do this first. Honestly, should just go ahead and do this. Okay, mushroom is going to take quite a bit longer. Don't have any animals around. I mean, we have these down here. I guess we could go do that. Low food. What are your other favorite role-playing games apart from Rimworlds? Play in the spare time? I have no spare time. I have no spare time. I literally only do content creation, eating, and sleeping right now. So... 
I, I don't know. I have I have a lot of games that I really like and I would like to play more. Right now, um, and, and actually I did some variety on stream a month or so ago. Um, I was playing a lot of Total War Warhammer 3. I would love to play some more of that right now. And I might do some of that at nighttime during this uh, streamathon stuff. Uh, all right. There's a squirrel we can grab. Tips for starting Tunneler Colony. Um, uh, just know that you can make mushrooms. You can grow mushrooms in a roofed area. A lot of people think you can only grow it in fungal soil. It's not true. You just have to have a roofed area. So I very strongly, uh, suggest that if you start as a Tunneler, Make sure you start growing mushrooms right off the bat under something like this. So you see how I have that set up. And then start working into the mountain while you have a, a little base out there. That was only rock. No, you can grow mushrooms in any kind of soil. It's just fungal soil allows you to do it under the mountain. That's it. Yep, really, really. War really needs to do another fantasy series. I would love a Total War Middle Earth. That's like my, that would be like one of my dream games, you know? Someone is asking me when I was streaming Total War Warhammer 3, they were like, if they did another fantasy setting, what would you like? And I was like, man, oh man, take me to Total War Middle Earth. That would be pretty friggin' awesome. It is important to note that the mushrooms have very low, um, Fertility sensitivities, they don't really grow that much faster in things like hydroponics or rich soil, but they do get a small, a small boost, a small boost. Total Warcraft, that would be pretty cool too, yeah. I thought, that I'm sure that'll never happen, but. Oh, I'll be so glad these mushrooms come in. That's, that's what's really uh, hurting us right now. I might do another drum festival. Yeah, let's do it. Empire Total War. Let's go with Freddy. Major breakdown. Ugh. Fungus per colonist. It's generally 20 plots per colonist, but it's going to be more in this because we have uh, genes. Oh, no. <laughs> How many? There are 20 episodes for the first run. One more. Door for him in. That's right. 20 episodes in the first run. Outdoor beauty bonus these days? No, it does not. See? The only thing that only gives outdoor bonus like that is chunks. Chunks outdoor don't count. Chunks inside are ugly. I think that's what you're confusing it with. So no. As you can see. Oh, why is it so far away? <laughs> Our modest that's frustrating. Expands. Praise the sub. It's really frustrating. From boring to unforgettable, that's right. Uh, noob, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you for using that here. And Vig, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you, Vig. Yeah, it should be around, yeah. I think it should be around 25, yeah. Man, oh man. It's gonna be crazy, actually. How are you unleashing Welcome the dwarves? Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Uh, axes and explosions. Okay, they're already bringing it. Okay. Yes, I will set it up. Uh, Pixel. Welcome in. Aristo Rat. Thank you for the three months. Thank you, Rat. Why did insect jelly pop out for no reason? It wasn't for no reason. It's part of our ideology. So your ideology, you can set up the reward to be insect jelly. Yeah, our hunter doesn't need range, apparently. Boy, oh boy, I'll be so glad when this neutral fungus gets in, man. Ideology, you do that? Yeah, yeah, you can set what your ritual reward is. One of them is insect jelly, yeah. 
Man, oh man. We'll die about beer. Is that you? <laughs> might be, might be. All right. Any other animals very close by? Got a tortoise over there. Repeatable sources of insect jelly. Yeah, it does suck that it just appears out in the middle of freaking nowhere, though. Like, some of it we'll probably not be able to go get. We might end up going and melee hunting these deer. <laughs> Seems absurd. Cassandra's going to be hitting us pretty soon, though. She's, she's, oh, it's only day eight. Okay. It's only been two days since the other one. Uh, did they get a mood buff from the insect jelly? Um... Oh, because it was cooked. I don't. I don't think they do. Do they? I don't remember. Our actually, fellowship expands. Praise the I don't sun. remember. I don't see one though. An all addicts run. I've done that, and this is also that. These will literally die if they don't get beer. They're all addicted to beer. So the ship launched on the other run. Yes, it did. It's recreation. Uh, Ayla of the knife. Ayla. Ayla. Aaliyah? Wow, I'm really butchering that first part of that name. <laughs> Thank you for the Twitch Prime. I appreciate it. Are you a elite enemy in Elden Ring? It does sound like a name that would be from something like that. Yes, we will literally die without alcohol. Here, I'll show you. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, alcohol dependency. If we don't have alcohol, we'll go into a coma and die. It's a gene, yep. I've ever done a ship launch run? Never. I've never launched a ship ever. Not a single time ever. But we did just finish a run where I launched the ship. Oh, I, I don't know how many times I've launched a ship. Many dozens of times. Many dozens of times. You have that gene? <laughs> yeah, the unisex beards uh, is not working as I thought it would, so that's unfortunate. Heard in the end, you leave the planet. Have I ever launched an alcohol-dependent colonist into space? So that's that's a no. So that'll be it first. All right, we're gonna see if we can scavenge again because we are starving. So we're gonna go in and again, I'm gonna go into orders. I'm gonna right-click on allow. Upgrade four. So there's four things somewhere. I'm gonna unrestrict. I'm gonna grab our cook, and we're gonna prioritize butchering, and that's gonna allow them to just go grab a corpse. Oh, it's for friggin' every way. Is there a new wind condition in biotech? There is not. You mean defecat? You're talking about defecat? Yeah, I think we're gonna end up having to go hunt that. Mushrooms are only halfway there. Rice is gonna take another couple days. You guys moved him back in? Oh my god. God, we're gonna have to go do some melee hunting. We're just gonna have to do it. Before people start starving to death. Alright, let's go. It's kinda nuts. Never had to do this before. Uh kinda. Kinda haven't had to do this before. Alright. Raccoon. Good. Tortoise. Good. Another raccoon. Okay. That's three things we can ba take back. I'm kind of worried about the deer. Whoa, that's so crazy. The extra uh, damage from melee. All right. Don't have to worry about the deer. <laughs> Melee hunting. Am I going to save the pod crash person? No, I'm not. They're not a dwarf. I don't care about them. 
<laughs> Thank you, Whistling. Actual first colony going. Constant answering of the same question. Let's get to you this morning. Oh yeah, no worries, Ted. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out while you could have the rest of your day. Do is recon armor better or worse than flak vest with duster? It depends on quality quality, but in general, usually the flak vest and duster as yeah, thrombo, hyperweave, devil strand, usually those are better. Um, I'm actually going to do this a little bit differently. We're going to go into the dumping zone. Make it a line instead so they're not over those corpses as much. And we're going to put human-like corpses there. That is critical. And let's have you haul that out. Okay, go ahead and cook some of that. There we go. No starvation notices. Let's go ahead and do some more of that. Salvage non-human for parts, though. I can't. No. We're not cannibals, and our person, our people are against organ harvesting. So if I did any of that, we would, it would make our people super, super unhappy. All right. It's looking all right up here. We can we can buy organs, but we can't rip out organs. Min max and course piles, that's right. Yeah, so this one we are we're playing a little bit more thematic and not as as min maxy as normal. Alright, so we got some meals in for once, and uh we are on so Cassandra is forced to attack you by day twenty. Um with her normal cycle. I think she first attacked us on day six with the starter thing. Alright, so this is a wonder joint event. This one I really wish let's take a look. See how they're a baseliner? It's it's kind of frustrating because the developers don't want to combine any like DLC type stuff. So right now, like when you have an ideology join ritual, they they just come as baseliners. There's a mod for it, but um, but it is kind of kind of unfortunate. Uh, anyway, we will send them out to trade. So that'll be that. They're ugly as well, yeah. And our dwarves are bigoted too, so. Our dwarves are bigoted. Alright, Mule, get in here. She feels ugly because she doesn't have a beard. So. She's a dwarf at heart because she's good at mining, yeah. <laughs> I might not have been born a dwarf, but I chose to be one. Alright, uh, we got a little bit of leather we can go trade off, so. Uh, let's see, who are we neutral with at the start here? With purple, let's see where purple is on our map. They are a ways away, a ways away. It's a god trait for a dwarf, no. <laughs> no. Soul Sapper and Mule already, already at odds here. Mule implied negative things about Soul Sapper's bravery. Oh, get bodied, Mule. All right, let's get some, uh, some medical experience, I suppose. Also, don't be drinking our beer. Don't be drinking our beer. No drugs, Mule. No drugs. Why the wall in the middle of the fields? It's a trap tunnel. It's so the enemies walk over the traps. That's why. Our modest fellowship expands. Yeah, Praise the sub. <laughs> Thanks for the pistol, yeah. <laughs> Just a poor pistol, though. Three mules. Why is the music sometimes distorted? It is a Twitch bug that you can fix in a couple ways, Cobalt. And you might be saying, it can't be Twitch because it's not doing it to your voice. It does it only to the music. So to fix it permanently down below your video, click on the gear, click on advanced, and turn off low latency mode, and that will fix it. If you want to fix it temporarily, you can just refresh the stream. The wall of Nutrifung. Oh, my bad. My bad. Uh, this one is because Nutrifungus can only grow uh, in the dark. So that's there in order to put a 
roof over the top. Why is there more than one? Why is there more than one is because if someone has a breakdown and they go and they punch one of the walls down, I don't want it to collapse on top of them and kill them. I have had that happen in runs. So yeah, that is, uh, that's a neutral fungus because it needs darkness to grow. The streamer knows everything. No. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Sorry about that. That's one. You will join us or die, Master. Right, mule. Uh, Edvin Wolf, thank you for the gift sub to Apobelgio. I'm going to go with. And Sai Hi, <laughs> thank you for the subscription as well. Very much appreciated. Ambrosia, pretty far away. Pretty far away, we're not going to deal with that. So I am putting a roof on this for anyone that's wondering. So I'll go over this because it is asked a bit. So there's a couple things going on here that I'll go over. First off, a, unless you have the darkness meme or precept, darkness here is going to cause human enemies to move slower. So when you get attacked by raiders, this is actually going to make them move slower as long as they're not mechs or animals. Or if they don't have the darkness meme precept, etc. So this is here because raiders will try not to go uh, in an area that's going to slow them. So having a fence spread out every other one it makes this a slow walking zone. And so they choose to go through the traps. I have the extra doors on this side so we can pop out and shoot them for shooting experience. I don't have them on this side because if I did have doors there, the enemy, when they break, will end up breaking those doors and I'll have to rebuild them. So, uh, And this also allows us when enemies break here and they run this way, we can go out this door and we can shoot them for experience or whatever. So that's why this whole tunnel thing, we're probably not going to use it for too super long as we are going to get moved into the mountain. But uh, yeah, it's good for now. Good for now. All right, we do need to get a Dwarven Priest, unfortunately. I say unfortunately because they're going to have two higher expectations. So while everyone else is going to have uh, oops, very low expectations, they're going to have two higher than that. So I have a plan for bugs. Uh, just the same as always, melee block and kill with shotguns, and then later on I'll have a bait room, which I'll explain those things when we get to them for sure, but yeah. I'm just going to melee block them to start with and eventually, um, but bugs aren't going to spawn right now because we don't have a player made structure up there yet. So, uh, let's see, who do we want to make as the priest? We need someone that's going to be easy to keep happy, so not a very neurotic person. So, like, this person's going to be construction and mining all the friggin' time. Which is going to make them pretty happy. Undergrounders is going to be relatively easy to keep happy. Uh, but who is our best crafter? Rhino might end up being our production specialist. Uh, I think Vigdor here is going to end up being our priest. So... Love the videos. It's kind of weird hearing your name in the last run. Too bad Yoshi died at the end. I know, yeah. I I think it was because he was in the dark, or I mean, he was in the light. Yeah, yeah. They were coming over here. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, Yoshi di Yoshi dying was uh, spoilers. It was sad. All right, we'll go ahead and make them the priest. That'll make everyone a little bit happier. So we're gonna go into the social role and we're gonna assign them as the priest. And we might change it later. Right now, it's just uh, to get it to get someone as a priest. So. Did Mortar maybe make it? Spoilers from the run going up on YouTube for anyone that doesn't want spoilers, but uh, yeah, Mortar Baby made it. All right. All right, let's get Mule out of here. So we're going to go into the world map and uh, we're going to go up to purple here and Mule, start heading on out. Crap, Mule. Stop breaking down. <laughs> Is there an end goal of this run? I mean, we just started, so I don't, I don't know yet. Are you a decent pawn? All of our starting pawns are good, yeah. Very neurotic. Oh, you're going to be the uh, the crafting specialist, yeah. Very neurotic, tough, slow poke because you're a dwarf. This colony will not have many animals, no. Yeah, terrible timing, terrible timing. New playthrough, that's right, that's right. Uh, our hops are at 66%. We'll get some barrels at some point. And, uh, all right. There's a few things we want to do here. So I'm going to go ahead and put fungal gravel here. Could end up being a problem. But it's all right for now. Any pond with kill thirst gene yet? I've looked at all the genes. But I haven't used that one yet. 
Feel like their melee kill need bar doesn't work when you feel it should. Yeah, that's interesting. No, I haven't. I haven't played around with it yet. And it was just future dinners. That's right. Cat infestation. <laughs> Is this DLC good? I think it is, yeah. You didn't like ideology, really. Um, This one is like two and a half DLCs in one, it feels like. Mule's just eating our food and having breakdowns. What a jerk. All right, we're gonna go ahead and make fungal gravel at the entrance up here. Just temporarily. Yeah, we don't have shooting specialists this time, which uh, this will be the first run I haven't taken shooting specialist in like probably like 20 runs, honestly. Something like that. Might be... Have I taken shooting specialist in every ideology run? <laughs> Just about. Close to it. Close to it. 11 days. You don't? No, I don't have a shooting specialist. We don't have we don't have supremacy. You type exclusion memes and see what we have. All right, mules done wandering in a psychotic state, so we'll send them off to purple here. So we're gonna grab mule and all this junk, get rid of that some of that wealth and trade it for something better. They have no food. I don't. And uh, we're tribal, so they're gonna be able to get a bit of food while they're gone. But I feel like if I don't send them with any, they're gonna end up dying. Yeah. If they die, they die, I suppose. It's a 1.7 day trip. <laughs> Alright, good luck. <laughs> Smoothing for floors, brings them down. I'll smooth eventually, yeah. Medical specialist? I do not have a medical specialist, no. Medical specialist is is, bl is blind sight. Hey, Dwarf Civ and Stellaris, instead of being great miners, they were the galaxy's food barons. Supplied the galaxy with all the food. People never attacked you. Dwarves are really good at negotiation. That's a weird, yeah, that's an interesting Stellaris playthrough. All my Stellaris playthroughs always ended in me trying to just conquer everyone and just killing everything indiscriminately, which is kind of how my RimWorld runs usually turn out. I wonder why that is. What's the scenario? We started as tribal dwarves. Oh yeah, flesh purity as well. All right, here we go. Cassandra is awake. The countdown has begun. There's her first raid. So. Are any of those nimble? We should just, we can just let them take the traps. I'd like to get some shooting experience. Oh, they're uh, tough Neanderthals, so they're going to take a lot of traps down, so I will end up fighting them. Try to avoid some of that, at least, so. Uh, let's just go ahead and extend the inside area to here for right now. Uh, yeah, I saw it. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. The Dwarf Fortress announcement for the 6th. Expect nothing less than Galactic Conquest to... Oh yeah, thank you, goat. Um, I will. I had, I had another question about that that I want to ask you in Discord specifically. Okay, mushrooms are almost ready. Mad donkey. Oh, okay. Neanderthal versus donkeys. Well, I know who's gonna win this one. Yeah. <laughs> Poor donkey. All right. Uh, so mushrooms are almost done, and we will replace the. Rice. Oh, uh, let's just throw some cotton down there temporarily. Actually, yeah, that's fine. Net hack? I have not. Thank you for your service, donkey. Doing some damage there. Just some. Oh, he's actually bleeding. Look at that. Look at that. So we got Minyo and Bonostra. My favorite StarCraft 2 player. Probably Bjorn. Probably Bjorn. I don't know Bjorn's not like he used to be, but uh, when when Bjorn is at full form and microing, especially TBZ, 
Uh, it's, it's one of my favorite people of all time to watch, you know? But, so probably Bjorn. I've had to pick just one. Bjorn's fun to watch, yeah. Yep. But one of my uh, one of my favorite moments of StarCraft was actually because I was there. I was at the World Championship at BlizzCon two years in a row. And I got to watch MMA win his World Championship. I got to see MC. Good times. It's a long time ago. It's a long time ago. 2014, I think it was. Let's see if we can get some shooting experience here. StarCraft playthroughs in the variety stream? I don't know, yeah. I've done, I I replayed through Brood Wars campaign as like just a nostalgia type thing, but. <laughs> Four research benches, that's right. Oh, there was more. I was wondering why it was only two. It was a multi, multi-side raid. I was like, that seems pretty small for Cassandra. Oh god, <laughs> Neanderthal man. That shooting experience. All right, Cassandra's first real raid. Uh, it ended up being what? Was it four or five tribals? Something like that. New DLC after some runs. Previous updates, where do you see it? Uh, Biotech is really good. If for no other reason, then it just adds so much to the game. It just adds so much more than the other DLCs. It feels like two or three DLCs in one, so. No, so I, okay, so how Cassandra works? So, so Cassandra has a has a cycle. She has a ten point six day cycle. So this is how Cassandra works. Cassandra can attack you with up to two major events in four point six days. When she does that, she goes on cooldown for six days. So if you want to game Cassandra a little bit, basically what you do is if you've had two events, two major events. Within 4.6 days, you know that you're basically safe for six days. You can just literally go do whatever crap you want. Mine at the edge of the map. You don't really have to worry about it. So that's how Cassandra works. Uh, she has an 11.6 day cycle. 4.6 days on with up to two major events. Usually two, but sometimes only one. She doesn't have to do two. And then cool down for six days. Yeah, the Neanderthal are, are really crazy about just how many traps they can take. Um, all right. So... We're going to go ahead and get these back up there. All right. Uh, let's see. They're good. Salt Demon is happy, so we're going to have him uh, pick this up. Actually, hang on. We, we set up a place for it, right? Yeah, we did. So we'll just go ahead and switch that to work and have him haul. It's cold downstairs, so my wife has come to the stream room where there's so many devices putting off heat. <laughs> Turn the heat on, I would die. <laughs> oh, cat's here. Zoe's here. What's up, Zoe? We're here to look at some dwarves. Her doors like cats. Not in like the Alf likes cats sort of way. Luckily. Uh, Wolf, thank you for the gift sub. Oh, I already said that. But thank you again anyway, I guess. <laughs> All right. All right, uh, let's get some more of these trees cut. I gotta remember this map has a winter as well. Recreation option for a computer that also serves as a heater. 
Um, what kind of kill box are you going for after the trap tunnel? Melee block? Yeah, mostly. Yeah. This run's gonna be heavy weapons and uh and melee. Yeah. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Heavy weapons and melee. 50 60, and then with cold snaps, it might get longer on one end or the other, but yeah. Uh Kai, thank you for the subscription. Thank you, Kai. Very much appreciate it. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Let's see. Um. Oh, right. We don't have complex furniture yet. We're almost there. Do ad blocks affect me in any way? Yes, it costs me literal pennies. Alf, how dare you take pennies from me? There's Alf. Uh, sweet guns. Thank you for the subscription also. Thank you, guns. Gonna be fine on beer supply. Uh, probably. <laughs> probably. get some free and approved loving going on here comes in you'll build a brewery and kegs yeah yeah i'm starting to right now because they're at like 96 percent so yeah get some baby dwarves going it's a whole lot of mountain yeah yeah it's a big mountain Lucky for us. Our modest uh, Cobalt, thank you for the subscription also. Thank you, Cobalt. Praise the sub. Yeah, I think we'll be okay in beer in the long run. How many tiles? Right now, I'm not growing a whole lot. Yeah, 37. Pushing for them to get pregnant. No, not yet. Oh, we don't have enough real food for it yet. I should probably do it, but... Uh-oh, Mule ran out of food. Oh, no. You can't force romance. You can force romance with biotech. See, there's a romance button now. And it'll tell you what the chances are. Finish the last run. Can't wait to see this one. Well, that full run isn't even all up yet. But Undead King, thank you for watching that one. What kind of jeans do they have? There's the dwarf jeans. Feel free to pause or take a screenshot. But there they are. Not mule. Oh no. All right, uh, let's do a festival, see if we can get some mood from this. Oh, right, that's a... Yeah. Uh, there is incest in the game and it causes, yeah, it causes bad genes, yep. Children affect raid points, they do, yep. Thank you, they were watching on YouTube, they were coming over here. We'll get moved in there pretty soon. Says 100% chance to ruin something. All right, mule is here. Let's trade. So I would love to get that EMP. We're not going to be able to, but we know that they have one now. So okay, we'll just accept that. We'll bring that silver back home. If they die, they die. Yeah, Dwarf Fortress comes out on the 6th, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll get there, we'll get there. Look at the mood in this playthrough. Uh, alright. We're just gonna go ahead and do this. It's probably not great to do right now. But we'll go ahead and switch to biphasic just for the mood. Let's play it a little slow. Dwarf Fortress comes out December 6th. What hats do you use in the late game? I use whatever the highest percent armor against getting one shot in the brain is. So whatever I can get to, 
So cataphract would be ideal, and then marine helmet next, and then recon after that. I don't I don't use like non-protective helmets in the late game, or non-protective hats, I should say. Definitely, uh, definitely armor. Heat stroke. How hot is it in the mountain? Oh, it's 102 in there. Jeez. I have no way to, to help you, so. It's on your wish list? Yeah, out on the 6th. Had only vanilla and could get one DLC, which would you choose? Right now, I'd choose biotech, yeah. Soul Sapper is going to smash things. All right, Soul Sapper. Holy crap, we could, took out three stacks of mushrooms. <laughs> Thank you, Ozzy. I think that extra melee damage applies for these breakdowns. <laughs> can you haul children off the map to reduce points? You can do that to reduce raid points on your current map. Yep. Holy crap, Soul Sapper, you're taking out half the food supply. <laughs> it's nuts. It's nuts. All right. We ain't moved in. We ain't moved in. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Sudden the heat. I, I know, but that's where we're cooking right now. If he takes out the beer. If he takes out the beer, that would be really bad, actually. We uh, So for anyone that doesn't know, we have a gene that makes it so we literally die if we, if we don't have beer. I'm fat. I hate the heat. <laughs> oh, man. Major break on mule, don't care about mule. Alright. That's your gene. <laughs> it's going to Vimpel, welcome in. Farting Owl! Welcome There's so many back. farting names in chat today. Your there we in your owl. Loyalty Custom mods. Old Santa, welcome in. Uh, North Wolf, thank you for the four months. Thank you, North Wolf. Oh, uh, man. Solar Flare doesn't matter, at least. Starvation on Mule. Yeah, come on back, Mule. You're, you're fun. Uh, you can do exclamation mods, but I, I'm using, like, three. In fact, I'm using less than what that shows. Okay, we need to get uh, this wood brought in. There we go. Did I have this out drinking alcohol suddenly? Yes, they can. I just had someone in my family pass away because of that, actually. About a month ago. A new subscriber. Come, steal yourself. We are building an army. Rabbit hamsters building an army. Think about the 10 gift subs, hamsters. Thank you again. What are you up to now? <clears throat> 210. Takes a long time for the die. Yeah, so 30 days will go into a coma. So if our people don't get beer in 30 days, they'll go into a coma. And if they don't get it in 30 more, they'll die. Ooh, nice. Mods well, to reselect your starting area in Rimworld after creating your colony. Preview the starting area? No, there's not. I mean, you can do it and then come come back there later, obviously, but like you can, you can go scout out a map and save it, but without mods, you can't do what you're asking. Thank you, Blazit. I think I might just get moved in here already. I hate that we're gonna have to move all that junk out of there. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Yeah, beer only takes six days, yeah. And it, it creates quite a bit, so we gotta get that built. Um, how to micromanage a bit right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I close the mountain in, we can get bugs. 
So I'm not building a structure in there on purpose right now because I'm not quite ready for bugs. Wow, Mule actually made it back. Look at that. Mule actually made it back. All right, Mule. Help us, my. Oh my god. Straight into another social fight. Offered a backhanded compliment. So, so our dwarves are bigoted, and that character is ugly. So, the tall dwarf. Extreme break. Next time I'll puke after every beer. Oh god. Take us a while to get moved in there. Should be alright though. You know, like standing miles get close to biotech in terms of content. I yeah, I, don't, I have no idea. I haven't really used very many of them. I've used their uh, storytellers, but nothing else really. Work until you drop mule. So we're gonna furniture. Yeah, we're gonna have really slow research because we're tribal. Slow research. I'll call a binge on mule. Uh-uh. Nope. No, no, no. Stop him. Don't let him drink that. <laughs> they drink instead. All right. There we go. We got some fermenting barrels going. It's actually almost too hot in here to get the good fermenting, but... Okay. She has no... She's no dwarf. She doesn't get to drink. Do we nearly kill her? Nah, it's, she's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about Mule. She'll be alright. Worse than a AA meeting. <laughs> Do you want beer? It needs to be this long in order to drink. That's right. And I really should have got another uh, growing person here, plant person, but... Ah, well, we'll get them eventually. We just need to make a lot of babies. You love how alcohol binge is now an extinction level event, yeah, for this playthrough. <laughs> yeah. Insulting spree? Oh, no. Oh my god, I'm gonna let them just do the insults. I can't I can't risk someone dying. We have 150% melee damage. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh god. That's with tough and robust. If Mule survives, can we mod her into a dwarf? Oh man. That's rough. That's rough. I almost chose a cold map because the doors, but I kind of forgot. We have to feed babies a beer. I don't know how that's going to work. Yeah. How many hours do I usually take for a run? Uh, like, I would say like 30 to 40 hours for a run. Sometimes longer. This one will probably be longer. This one will probably be longer. Is this melee only? No, it is not. Melee only run is up on YouTube. Sleeping spot count. I'm not sure. I, I know it used to, but I haven't tried that in a long time. Dependencies don't start until age 13. Thank you. Last one. Last one's about 30 hours, I think. Yeah. Actually, last one's about 40 hours. That's not a corridor. That's the edge, so I don't mine it. Forgot to make a brewery, did I? Because there's two right here. Or, oh, wait a minute. Uh, we don't... We, we don't need those yet. Sorry, <laughs> I did forget. For some reason, I thought... I read it as brewery, but I thought of it as fermenting. 
Yeah, we'll have to make that too. Thank you. Gotta get more wood. It's like, really? Right here they are. Nope. <laughs> For some reason, I thought the one over there I had done was one, but... Oh, man. It's rough. It's rough. Crap. It went above 90. Uh, we have no real good way to keep it cooler right now. Uh, I'm gonna ha I need to get moved in up there. It's gonna be rough. We're down to three beer in storage already. Uh oh. Signal in the mountain. The mountain is 96 degrees. So. <sighs> Long storage. It'll, it'll be the same temperature. Pass cooler. I don't even have enough wood to keep the fire going. So it would take two or three passive coolers to get that entire thing cooled off. So we're going to have to, um, maybe we'll just make a little room back here. Just big enough for man. We gotta get we gotta get more wood. Transport pod crash. Uh, okay. Sucks not being a cannibal. Massive throne room of gold. I don't know. We'll see. Where are they of a Dwarven King? I don't know if we'll get that far. Right now it's looking like no. Probably should have waited a little bit more to go into the mountain, honestly. Probably should have got like a normal base set up. I'm worried about getting that st stabilized with just five people. And then going into the mountain. So if we lose this one, I'll end up uh, doing that next time. How do you queue orders? Hold shift. Could do it in a small room. That's what I'm doing right now, yep. You love the new stumps. All right, we'll see how that holds. And if we need a second one or we need to double up the wall, we'll go from there. Why is it going in the mountain bad? Well, it's not necessarily just going in the mountains bad. It's having too many things to do with only five pawns. It's kind of bad early on because we just can't get any one thing completely done. So, all right. Let's see what the temperature gets to. Might need a second. Need room or a roof first. Either way. Rhino, Rhino. All right, that will keep it cool enough. Oh, did I not set any? I don't think I even set work. Welcome back. Man, Your I haven't made beer since 1.0. Jeez. Appreciated. No, we need to get to beds. No loving yet. Need to get to beds. Any insight on Mace versus Warhammer? Mace has more DPS. When testing Warhammer Pawn, almost always wins against the Mace Pawn. Um, the DPS thing in RimWorld is pretty complex. There's some information in the Discord, but yeah, I haven't tested those two one for one. Uh, sickly pawns don't tank disease for any storyteller anymore. That was changed back in like 1.1 1 .1 or something. I'm gonna play Door Fortress. Yeah, I'll try it on release. Yeah.
There we go. That should work. Adam, after dark ideas? It depends. Uh, but I'm probably going to be so exhausted. I'll just be playing whatever I feel like chilling with that night. A gift. What do we got? 111 silver. Nice. Nice. Remember movie night? They don't count. Yeah. They don't count. Uh, to do a movie Welcome like that back. on Twitch, you have Your to do the watch party, and watch parties don't count towards the hours. Because ads don't play during watch parties. Mule class game. Rocket League streams. Turtles and Gaming, 46 months. That's like the dawn of time, Davey. Turtles and Chill, 30 months. That's like the dawn of time, Davey. Thank you, Davey. I very much appreciate it. Glad you're still around. And Echo, they were the seven months. Thank you, Echo. All right. Get this research done. Hooray, we can make beds. We can make beds. Bring village, maybe. Maybe. Now we could have made sleeping uh, rolls, but for that. Seeing how good our melee is already, maybe it would be fine to just move in and have bugs spawn. Then we get to eat them. I don't know. I mean, we got a melee block. We only have one weapon, unfortunately. Uh, one ranged weapon, I should say. What's the worst social drug? Praise the yeah, what would I say? I, I don't like smoke leaf very much at all because it reduces consciousness. Much prefer Psych 8 tea. Quest available. Busted shuttle this early. Peaches. Millions of peaches. Word of trust. Drain spawn No, we don't want this right now. A vault that's just a giant stockpile of golden relics. That would be kind of cool, yeah, in the long run. Uh, hot shots. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you for using that here. Hot shots. Much appreciated. Ship to the stars. I miss being a cannibal. That uranium, steel maces, or jade clubs to take out mechs. Ooh, I don't know what I... Yeah, I don't know the... I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know the stats on the jade mace, actually. I always try to get to some uranium, but of course you don't always have uranium, but... I'm not sure what I would use. Go under the mountain. No bugs to spawn. Everyone will ask you if you disable bugs. <laughs> Let's see. Seventeen percent chance. Hmm. Don't those stats for a, a random weapon? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know them all. Mule. All right, we're mined out up there, actually. Okay. Get those out of there. So. Bugs pre chem fuel. I'm really thinking about yeah, going up there and spawning them. Is there a dwarf xenotype? There is now because I made one. You can make your own xenotypes. So, there we go. Dwarves. We'll literally die without alcohol. We're dwarves. We're not alcoholics, we're dwarves. Make mule bed? Absolutely not. Beds are for permanent residents. What are you doing sleeping out there? Oh, it's just, that's right. First run diet or one, we won. 
We won. that done or the jeans of the mule there's the base liner <laughs> just a base liner we will get moved up here pretty soon Oh, did I? I didn't mean to. Crap. My bad. I was just mining the uh, the size of the wall instead on accident. Yeah, good catch. Thank you. That would have been bad. <laughs> no, 13 by X exterior, 11 by X interior is what I generally do. So, just a misclick. Good catch. Yeah, I was going to collapse some stuff. Compact, compact steel. Okay. Does long rot go away? It does. Yeah. Yeah. It's not too bad. It's, it's not too bad as long as you keep them tinted. out pretty quickly mule what a disgrace look at you you're no dwarf you're no toddler some food i know it's rough we we had plenty and then someone soul sapper destroyed most of it soul sapper so we're probably gonna go hunt again pretty soon it's not not really a close by place to hunt either. It's a lot, yeah, it is a lot, yeah. But nothing to do for it about it for November. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Uh Ando. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you for using that here. Very much appreciated. Count's name is tier one sub. No more ads for you, etc. etc. Two of your colonists. They're just all good dwarves, so they're pretty much all good at mining construction and crafting and they're all tough what's the difference in sub tiers so i get more oh, when you put that in there too uh i get more money from like a higher percentage from them and you get a few more emotes that's about it the unisex beard gene apparently Murderous Rage, I think not, Mule. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. <laughs> uh, well, we, we don't have to worry about Mule anymore. They went on a Murderous Rage and... They got put in their place. Apparently under the ground. Not not in the Dorvin kind of way. Why do I need a password or something? So uh, there might be some lip readers there in the chat. What happened to Mule? Mule had a breakdown, a murderous rage breakdown. And uh, so I didn't want to allow them. First. To actually kill anyone, right? So we went to hit them and uh, we killed them. <laughs> All right, looks like there's some food on the way.
what a mess this has already been. Love the start of new runs. Yeah, I have a murderous rage by the end of the month. Oh yeah, me. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a crazy month, that's for sure. Okay. Alright then please. Three years are your own user for sale. Both, yeah, we'll we'll end up selling it as well. Right now it's for hours or else we'll, we're gonna die. Pollution infestation, actually having toxic waste packs. I haven't seen that, Zason Dill. I have not seen that yet. Oh, I'll be so glad once we get under the mountain. Whoops. Great chat. Those two are supposed to be drafted? No, they were not supposed to be drafted. All right. Go ahead and butcher that deer, cook that. Mushrooms will be done in a few more days. Okay. Funnel gravel in that one. Unfortunately, we don't have mule anymore, I guess, so, unfortunately. I have to get a new mule. We're gonna need another Tammy. Is there a new ending with a new DLC? There is not. Unfortunately not. So Cassandra must have only rolled once, right? Yeah, she rolled once. Oops. Okay. Any mech use at all this run? Probably not, no. Doors don't want that crap in their heads. Plus we're all psychically deaf, so... Yeah, we probably won't go into any of that kind of stuff. Now nah, you miss me, don't you? Don't you? Yeah, I've done a lot of I've done a lot of those too, where you do Nanky brutality and you randomize everything. I think there's already a mod to randomize genes as well, which will be kind of crazy. So you could randomize your starting pawn, your starting map, your seed, your ideology, and your genes. <laughs> can you moisture pump the ocean? No. Should try it on Phoebe. Yeah, whatever you would have fun on. You can always change it during right. Six man hunting guinea pigs. Oh, it's it's yeah, it's traveling so. Yeah, you can always change difficulty and settings in the middle of the playthrough. So whatever you, uh, whatever you think you would have fun with or get a good start with. All right, we'll get that stuff out. Getting a random gene with four drug dependencies. Yeah, that'll be really, really crazy. All right. All right, that's going to allow bugs to spawn. Can you explain why you put Plasteel at the entrance of the kill box? Because Plasteel has the highest HP of any wall that's not modded. And so you want that wall to survive as long as possible. So it makes it so that it absorbs more stray shots and things like that. Before it breaks. Can you have high amount of trash perks that you can never eat? Someone tested that on the Discord and they got it down to where someone only needed 11 berries every five days. <laughs> 11 berries every five days to keep someone fully fed. So. Plasteel doesn't burn either. Yeah, that's true. That was you. That was you. Yeah. It's crazy. Pretty crazy. All right. Bugs can now spawn. <laughs> someone did auto bong plus toxic really i was gonna do that yeah that's interesting someone else we were talking about that in our discord the other day are the doors from a dlc or from mod from the dlc yeah it's, it's just gene editing which is from the dlc showed up for the first day of Biotech for a couple hours. Just lurked. Thank you. Thank you for coming back. Yeah, it was crazy. Launch day was crazy. How slow is a slow poke compared to a baseliner? 
The Slowpoke is a minus 0.2. So it's basically like if your baseliner was like missing toes. Pretty much. How long until the mushrooms? Mushrooms are coming in probably tomorrow, but maybe late day tomorrow. You, th you guys think that we can melee kill a Mega Sloth? <laughs> Might have breakdowns during it. do it stream of ember it's here how's it going pineapple good stun no damage yet got another warhammer stun oh no damage taken even wow Nice. Flawless victory. Can you? Yes. Should you? Also, yes. Look at all that meat. I was going to say meat for days, but not really. <laughs> Warhammer's great. Yeah, Warhammer's doing work. Stun coming in clutch there. Cooking the meat. Cooking the meat. Rhino, did you end up eating? Rhino, come eat. All right. Meat's back on the menu. Bonjour. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. All right. Mushrooms will be coming in soon. Mad wild boars. So that is a mass animal insanity. So that counts as a major event. So Cassandra is off cooldown. Uh, those are going to wreck our traps unless I just melee. Let's just melee block them. I think we can do that. Honestly. Hopefully I don't lose any body parts here. Mass Animal Insanity means no Scaria either, which is nice. Is he hunting one of those? <laughs> Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Guessing I beat the other one? Yeah, I did. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh-oh, we actually got a hit that time. Nice, free food. Free food. Okay. It was just a, just a little bump. Wild boar is more dangerous than Mega Sloth. Actually confirm. I need to move that over here. So we're gonna do a uh, dump zone here. Clear all that. We're going to set this to importance. Go down to corpses. Put animal corpses. Um, and allow fresh only. There we go. Okay, let's shut that door. There we go. There we go. Can you see the genes? Sure. You, uh, you can pause it if you want. Or um, like clip it or something. There it is. Uh, or screenshot it. There they are, if you want to go back to them. Kill four boar, get one free. What a deal. What a deal. That for importance. We'll put meat in there. I mean, it is refrigerated. It's not super refrigerated, but refrigerated nonetheless. There we go. Teaching skills to children also gives a teacher experience. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
All right. Very nice. Very nice. Could explore that. So should we? Do? What does fertile do? It makes them have more babies. We're gonna move into the mountain soon when it's ready. Probably when the Nutrifungus there starts coming in. Probably. Kind of wanted to get to electricity too, but. It's going to take a little bit. Yeah, what's interesting is the unisex beards gets overwritten by bushy beards, which just makes sense. Doesn't make sense. The vats make your kids your calling. It's faster, but some useless. Embryo, though. Oh, you mean when you, like, harvest the ovum? Yeah, higher chance of making babies, yeah. Just don't tell you how it works. No electricity playthrough. I am thinking about doing a run where we don't, don't do any walls or doors. Eventually. All the mining quests, that would be crazy. All the mining pop-up. Oh, wait. That would only be long range. That nah, would be that bad. All right. Mushrooms are coming in. Very good. Very good. So when these start coming in, a couple days, we'll, uh, we'll move up here. We got to get that set to pull out right now. Bushy beards. Yeah, it's just weird that it overwrites. The bushy beards one is a male-only gene, but it seems to overwrite the unisex beard gene in females anyway. Seems kind of odd. That's working that way. No walls or doors. That would, yeah, it would be really insane. I don't know if that's actually possible. But I might try it. Account. Uh, keep a prisoner for 18 days. For garbage? No, thank you. Not right now. No, thanks. I don't need garbage. How much wood's left in that? That's good. Quest mail the deserter. Uh, I usually take this one. It's pretty dangerous because we are doing a bit of melee and the Empire will come with like mono swords and stuff like that, right? Uh, also, the Empire is our closest by trade partner, so I don't think I'm going to take this one this time. Also, we're not cannibals, so this extra meat and stuff doesn't do us any good. Uh, the Joiner won't be a dwarf. I don't think I'm going to do it this time. I almost always betray the Empire at the beginning. Oh, crap. <laughs> we didn't cook that fast enough. Keep cooking. Keep cooking. Uh, I'll be right back. Don't let me die. I'll be right back. Doing something for Mod Wife really quick. Low raid points? I think they are, yeah. But they still can come with mono swords and things like that. Be right back. Sander, kill us? No, we're good. <laughs> chair. Four more years of chair. What happened with Mule? Mule had a murderous rage breakdown, and we tried to stop them, and we did by killing them on it. Kind of on it. Well, it was on accident, but... Uh, Nar, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you for using that here, Nar. And Dooms, Dave. Thank you for the resub. Do your doors have alcohol dependency? They do, yeah. They will die without alcohol. Yep. They're completely dependent on it. 
And, uh... We just got 39 more, though. It's a new run. Yes. Yeah, we finished the other one. A raid! Boy, I got back at the right time. A raid. Uh, let's see. E.T. Keen. So are E.T. Keen higher raid points than, um... This is actually a, a smaller raid. Oh, they're pirate. So I guess that makes sense. Never mind. I was going to say it's smaller than the last raid, but the last raid was tribal. So... They're attacking immediately. All right. Let's see what we got here. Anything crazy? I'm not seeing anything crazy. Okay. I do have robust though, like the Neanderthal. Get some more guns. Boral kidnap calls. Oh, yeah, someone's talking about that too, which is kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. I need to uh, change how this is set up. Let's not rebuild that one. Ah, we're going to move in soon anyway. Hey, when you get kidnapped, let's go on King. food so weird that it counts as a raider okay. more meat more meat okay. all right uh let's go ahead and put down a few more traps we're going to turn this into a little shotgun tunnel in the meantime. There we go. Force them in there. Okay. Uh, we get a poor bolt action rifle, which is, uh, it's whatever. Go ahead and butcher those where we build traps under them. And let's stop sewing there for now. We got a little bit. How long until these mushrooms are good? I think we're about ready to move in here. Get that door done. Set this to no longer. So, what the columns do? The columns make it so they typically don't stop there unless they get stunned to shoot at us. So, it's um, depending on if you want to put down barricades versus columns, it, it changes things a little bit, but. Um, the downside of the calls is it has less HP than barricades. I think we're actually about to move into the mountains. Maybe I just won't worry about this, but eh, it'll, it'll be okay. But basically, it makes it so that it forces them through here so that we can melee block them even if they have guns. It's, it's the bottom line. And it, they can actually shoot from back here if they get stunned out of it. And there's some other factors that can cause them to do it, but basically that's what's going on. Yeah, we gotta get, uh, let's see what the romance option is looking like here. 28%. It's getting there. It's getting there. Definitely have to start getting some dwarf babies going. Is there an undergrounder gene? Uh, not exactly. We kind of made our own. Kind of made our own. Are they dirt moles? No, they're dwarves. Not dirt moles. They are a custom xenotype. We made our own genes. Well, I mean, we combine our own genes to make our our dwarves. Right. I think when this is cleared out, we'll move in.
we, we don't have an underground or gene. So what I meant is we by that we made our own is this. I didn't use any any of those. So we don't we don't have an underground or gene. We don't have the dirt bowl Xeno germ. What are you doing to the floor up here? Eventually I'll smooth it. Calling roof traps in the corners of your map. Those are nice too, yeah. Uh, you missed the start? Yeah, you can actually click on my name, click on videos, and you can go back to the beginning of this VOD if you want to watch the beginning of today's if you want. Um, it'll also go up on YouTube, of course. Yeah, I think we're about ready. About ready. Human size deadfall, pretty much. Pretty much. Armed and filthy. <laughs> What am I currently building? Oh, that's uh, that is fungal gravel, so we can make, or so we can grow more mushrooms in there. Yeah, we will move up soon. Only f it's so weird having only five colonists. I would have already done like six joiner rituals normally by now, but not this playthrough. Not this one. Do you have any useful general tips for rumorable beginners? So I have a lot of playthroughs up on YouTube with different starting scenarios that go through and I try to explain everything. But RimWorld is such a complex game that's really hard to give just like broad general tips. But if I had to give some, I would say just know that you can change the difficulty anytime, even while you're playing. You can go into options and click on gameplay and, and you can change the storyteller. You can change all this anytime. So don't be afraid to set it on like even just peaceful build or whatever. And then when you think you've settled, you're like, all right, I understand how to have it so people aren't starving. Let's try some raids. Turn up the difficulty just a little bit or even just raid, turn on raids and then try it. And don't, don't be afraid to uh, reload or, or, you know, turn it back down or whatever. So that's one. Another big thing I would say uh, in general, just a broad tip is every time someone is idle early game, throw down another research bench and put their research on four, even if they're not good at it. That way, if they have nothing else to do, they can help you with the research. Research adds to a pool of points. It's not just a one person job. But if you have any specific questions, Danny, especially after like watching the guides and stuff out on YouTube, definitely let me know or at, let us know in the Discord. I don't mind answering, but it's easier to answer specific questions, of course. Tribal start. Yes, modified tribal start. How can you trade with the Empire without Royal? You can't. You can't. Yeah, I am planning plan to make a Royal. Yep. Welcome back, Neff. I'm glad you're in one piece. Uh, all right. Chopping the wood, chopping the wood. Okay. Wait, so was that two raids in a row? Yeah, so you see that? That means Cassandra's on cooldown right now. How pins work? Your animals are always starving. Well, you're going to have... Unless it's big enough for them to graze, you're going to have to feed them. So if your animals are starving, you can zone an area in there, a, a stockpile, or put shelves in there, and you can put it to put put food on there that those animals will eat, Whether even if it's just like rice or whatever, or hay or whatever, kibble, but... Yeah, basically make a pin, make a pin marker. You can click on your pin marker and it'll tell you if there's enough food for them to graze on for that many animals. I'm guessing there's not for what's going on in your game. And uh, if there's not... Christ. Oh my God, I'm so not used to them being able to solo stuff like that. Uh, if, if there's not, you're going to have to either plant something for them to, to eat or make the pin bigger. What's the idea to deal with bugs in this map? Uh, I'm just going to melee block and kill them until I make a bait room. Use multiple research to research multiple things at once. Yeah, there are mods for things like queuing up. <clears throat> Excuse me. For queuing up, but yeah. Solo without damage with that, that Warhammer. It's actually crazy. <laughs> Our melee is really good. We are dwarves after all. We are strong. Probably should cut some of this before we go up there and settle in. Settle in. Got a little shotgun tunnel there. 
edit that a little bit. How you deal with bugs? I'll just kill them. Pollution drop. 169 waste packs. No. But no, I'll eventually make a bait room. I'll, I'll explain all that kind of stuff um, in more detail when I set it up later. Playing doors in Total Warhammer now. I'll probably be playing some Total War on the bonus streams this month. For anyone that didn't hear, I'll be doing like two streams a day pretty much all month. You're going to do Dirt Mold Darkness as a similar playthrough? Short-sighted, but chain shotguns don't need... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, we're not going to recruit any prisoners, no. Scripted. You can use this. You can use this uh, seed if you want. I'll put it there. Is the long range mineral scanner any good? It is because you, so you can set it to what you want. So you can set the long range mineral scanner to components, and it'll literally find components. And you just go mine a big bunch of components, you know, or gold. It's it's good for like charting specific things like gold and. Uh, Oh, are we overproducing? Mule's not here, so. I like gold and, uh, like I said, with compact machinery. The only good bug is a dead bug. Ouch, that sucks. Didn't realize I was overproducing. All right. Mule, mule died. Okay, I think we are pretty much ready to come in. So smooth walls only count as one wealth right now still. It's been that way since like 1.2. We thought it was a bug because it used to be 20 wealth. And now it's one, but did I finish the first run? I did, yep. But uh, they still haven't fixed it and there's been dozens of patches, so. Getting to the stream to see what's going on. Saying his dwarves are great sprinters in short distances. <laughs> Heard that somewhere. All right. Should be good. Start getting some of this stuff moved up. Wonder how long till our first infestation. Robust, strong, melee damage seems good. It, yeah, yeah. It's actually better than I even thought it was going to be. Better than I thought it would be. And this isn't even like fully mid max. You could actually make a melee uh, Xenogerm way stronger than what we did. Which is kind of insane. It's very insane. Very insane. Uh, let's go ahead and do one of these drum festivals. Hopefully, get some good mood out of it. Hey, we got it. Insect jelly. Nice. The downside is it causes dirt. <laughs> so. Turrets are decent at keeping pawns alive. I don't really like turrets too much. The turret, A turret is the same as a level 12 shooting pawn with a short bow that's immovable. But I usually use turrets, or turrets, excuse me, usually use turrets to dictate pathing and collision. I don't use them too much. It's just raw, like, shooting thing. But, again, uh, you know, a level 12 shooter with a short bow could be the difference in your playthrough, uh, depending on what's going on. So, it, it's not necessarily just flat out always terrible, but they're just not great. Select turrets any good? They're pretty expensive for how lackluster they are. But, again, it really depends on, like, your setup and what difficulty and stuff you're playing on. For me, they're not they're not generally worth it. Yeah, I'll try out the Door Fortress uh, release, yeah. You're almost playing Tower Defense with all yours. Uh. I'm comparing it by DPS. 
So you can go you can go search in Discord if you want. And you can go to where all the testing was done and like the clips and the charts and all that kind of crap. But basically you get the same DPS output with a turret as a level 12 shooter with a short bow. I think it's in the guide channel. So an Alcath doing all right. Doing all right. Dwarf Fortress has a release date on Steam of December 6th. Trimroll my main game. Yep, it is. Yep. Bolt goods, nice. I'm gonna try the rocket turrets. Yeah, rocket turrets are actually pretty good. They're just not great for no pause because you can't pre-aim them. So you have to have a pawn go control it like a mortar, but you can't aim it at all, not even pre-aim it, unlike mortars, until the pawn gets there. But it's really good against clumped up non-armored enemies. So you can actually take out like an entire late game tribal raid, as long as they're not like Neanderthals, with the rocket turret. The rocket turret is uh, is, is pretty decent, but it's... It's very difficult to use with no pause, so I have been using them a whole lot after I tested. Our auto turrets can it, again. It just depends. I would rather just have that wealth put into pawns and better weapons than than turrets, right? So, but it depends. You you can if it's working for you at your difficulty level or how you like to set up your defenses, and that's fine. But yeah, turrets are a tricky thing. Back in the beginning of the game, when turrets were actually better. Um, like you could Almost literally on high difficulties, stands. you could just use turrets Praise to defend. So sun. that's why they changed them over the years. Okay, this will be enough to go buy that EMP grenade. If we get another mule. Okay. Good for now. You can type exclamation memes to see the ideology. There it is, but you can type exclamation memes if you want to see it. Yeah, they actually buffed turrets a little bit 1.3. Thoughts on 1.4? I like 1.4 overall, yeah. I have a thoughts video up of 1.4 on YouTube, but overall, I like it. Do you ever get bored of playing RimWorld? So, I would not play have played RimWorld as much as I have. It wasn't my job, so... It's, it's one of those interesting things. Right now with biotech and everything new, obviously it's, it's really fun to play again, but I get burned out of RimWorld all the time, but it doesn't matter because it's my, my job, right? So it'd be like going to someone that's like a bank teller and being like, why have you spent so many hours working here at the bank? You know, RimWorld is what brings the most viewers to the channel and makes me the most money on Twitch and on YouTube. I still like the game a lot, obviously, and especially with biotech coming out. But, uh, no, I've, I've streamed RimWorld way more than I would have if it wasn't my job, yeah. No suicide doors? No, not in this one. No, I'm not gonna be... I'm gonna not sacrifice people either, which is... Gonna be interesting, to say the least. No, people ask me a lot if uh, RimWorld's, like, my favorite game. It's not my favorite game, but I do like it a lot. Well, I do. If I have a dwarf, I'll probably just keep all dwarves in. I'm probably... And if they're a non-dwarf, then we'll either banish them or we'll have them do off-map tasks. It's a deep mountain, man. Deep mountain. Okay. We're going to go ahead and switch over to a fueled stove here. Get that made. We'll get moved up. Would I like to stream if viewers weren't a factor? If I if 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 I had the exact same viewers no matter what I streamed, yeah, maybe, maybe soon Tet actually during these night streams. But if I just streamed whatever uh, I wanted, I would stream a lot of variety. Right now, I would still be playing Biotech probably, but after Biotech, I'd be playing probably God of War Ragnarok. I'd be playing a lot of Total War Warhammer Three, all kinds of stuff. I'd, it'd be variety stuff. Kira Pyromaniac with Vampirism. <laughs> Patch to address genetic inheritance in kids yet? Yeah, there's There's been a couple, yeah. There's been a couple hot fixes. I think it still is kind of buggy, though. All right. Let's move up into the mountain.
And we will be um, playing very different, but I am going to go ahead and start with barracks as we get moved into the mountain. And I can't wait to see when our first infestation spawns and screws us over. <laughs> but so it goes. Begin dwarves. Yeah, I like Towards Tales. Yeah, I played that a little bit. But yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of games. I would just literally grow, uh, or uh, excuse me, I would literally stream just whatever I felt like that day. Where in your second generation doors are just going to be baseliners? Well, I have it set that the Xenogerm is inheritable, so I don't, it shouldn't happen, but uh, it's still, we're still working on it, Coco. It's still on the back burner. It's on the back burner, but we are working on it. Hey, some StarCraft? Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Yeah. Smurf and I are both playing a lot at the moment and researching a lot and figuring things out. So a lot of the guides that we're working on are kind of on the back burner while we, uh, while we do that. There are some coming. EverQuest or WoW? No, I'm not going to be playing either of those, no. Eventually, couldn't I use my dwarf genetics? Yeah, yeah, that's that's one of the long-term plans, yeah. Destroy me in some brood war and <laughs> say so. Who is Smurf? Uh, Mortal Smurf, member of the community here and helps me make a lot of the guides. Why not use shell to decrease storage clutter? We will in the long run, but right now I don't I don't really need to. What is the clutter doing? It's it's literally not doing anything. So the reason I'm not using shells right now is shells are going to add, first of all, I'm going to have to get more material and material at the moment is at a premium because it's early game and it's going to cause more wealth. It's not a lot of wealth, but that also increases raid points, especially when we're at a population curve of five already against Cassandra. So basically building shells right now would, and it wouldn't improve the quality of the room. You can see the math on that over in Discord as well. So at the moment, building shells just doesn't matter. So there's no reason for me to do it. It just literally doesn't matter. It's not like we are out of space. Uh, in fact, shelves actually are considered, they, they take up space and make the room less uh, spacious. And stuff on the floor doesn't. We have plenty of space right now. I will use shelves as we go through, especially as it makes sense. But at the moment, there's just no reason to. New to the game, can't stop playing it. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you, Durgans. If you have any questions, let us know either here on Discord. I have a lot of guides on YouTube as well, and lots and lots of full playthroughs on YouTube of different varieties. Yeah, no problem. But yeah, I, I will eventually use shelves, of course. The new shelves are really good, but. Mad Timberwolf. All right. I don't want the traps to get eaten up, especially when we can just take care of it, so. That's why you get that question so much. I, I think part of... So I didn't used to get that question that much until the DLC... Or until 1.4 added all the, uh, you know, fancy new shells. Single shells with a triple stack. But how do I deal with infestation? I will melee block and kill them. Hopefully I'll be able to show you soon. Climbing settings gradually. Try to avoid guides. Gotcha. Nothing wrong with that. All right. How's our beer looking? We're at 46. Okay. We got some more process in there. That's good. Okay. You want to get those out. That one goes indoors. Those do count. Uh, or they are ugly. They are ugly. Okay. So I want to stop going down here pretty soon. Um, let's make another one up here for right now. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I think the new triple stack single spot shelves are a big reason why I get that question so much more now, for sure. 
I moved up. Once the plan for the small room on the left, I'm gonna actually use bedrooms in this playthrough just to screw people. I'm gonna play differently on purpose in this one, so. I'll start out with the barracks, but I'll actually make some rooms for once. And people are gonna be like, last time I did that, so people ask me like, why do you always use the barracks? Well, barracks are very, very strong. I explained that a lot, but I did do a run not super long ago, a few months ago, where I didn't use the barracks. I just used bedrooms just for fun, just to play differently. And I got people in nonstop that were asking me like, Adam, what's going on? Did they nerf barracks? Was there a hot fix? And they were serious. And I was like, no, no. So I'm sure I'll get that again. Did they nerf that? No, they didn't nerf it. Where are you? It's a themed run, themed run. Boom around the old barracks, yeah, I saw that. All right. Looking pretty decent. Got that moving up. No sacrifices, yeah. No sacrifices. The nerf barracks? No. <laughs> I know it's coming though, for real. He's moved up here. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. All right. So our construction person, okay, they're on it. Wait for you to restart the stream from the beginning. Yes, click on my name, click on videos, and then you can click on today's VOD and that lets you rewind all the way back to the beginning. Can't wait for the fire inside of it, I know, yeah. That's one, re that's one downside to the hallways of mushrooms. Okay, uh, we will eventually bring those up. It's okay right now though. Go ahead and delete that, get those things brought up. And we'll need a little room for the the alcohol. Very important. Very important. And then we'll try to get our uh, research done for electricity. Uh, we'll start the alcohol room just right here. Good enough. Uh, well, I don't think the developers are going to do that. They might, but they actually... There was already something in the game that made barracks worse. And they took that out a long time ago. So, it seems like... Uh, and still, not a lot of people use barracks, honestly. Like, most people don't, I think. Like, the vast majority of RimWorld players probably don't use barracks. All right, cook that food. Get moved in. Wine is for elves. That's right. That door done. Is it because you just want to see that I don't? <laughs> Infestation, first one. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Uh, I don't know if we can get there in time. Get out of here. Oh no, I have those rocks in the way. Soul Sapper is slow as well. All right, there's our first infestation. We don't have a great melee block set up. So this could be actually really, really rough. I didn't get that, the block out. Can I get that out really quick? All that, all that, all that. First infestation. Won't be our last, that's for sure. Get up here. All right, Warhammer in the front. Axe. Who's our doctor? Claws, our doctor. Okay, that works. Okay. Here we go. Good 
to dodge. No breaking down. Okay. Infestation handled. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just hit demon. All right. First infestation down. I'm going to go ahead and split the stream for YouTube so it makes this easier to upload. Stopping on infestation is pretty good. The stream will continue. But let me just uh, split the recording here. I actually meant to split it an hour ago, so this is not good, but... Ah, well, better than nothing. Better than nothing.